Welcome to We Love to Hate Everything. I'm Jody, and along with my long distance bestie Amanda, we live to break down all the things we love to hate. Each week, we scour TV, TikTok, and pop culture and deliver you our unfiltered, snarky takes on everything. Take a moment to subscribe on YouTube so you catch all our live streams and shows, and follow the links in the banner to subscribe to our free weekly podcast and two Patreon shows, We Love to Hate TV and Total Request Podcast where you request the shows and we break them down. Once subscribed, you have instant access to our massive library of hundreds of past shows and recaps. We promise you'll love it. And listen, we're all friends here, so let us hear from you in the comments. We love getting to know you and we hope you enjoy the show. All right, let's go. And welcome to We Love to Hate Everything. I'm Jody, and I am Amanada, and it's the uh, it's the big day, Jody. Christine's getting Someone's married. Getting married. <laughs> Me and my mom were making a snack out of that last night because it was just really, it, but it doesn't stop. And my mom has requested that we, as we watch along, I'm going to count on the chat to do this. Uh, okay. Keep a count of how many times she says either I'm getting married or I'm getting married today. There's okay. other versions of it, but let's just stick to that. Like the, the, okay. like how many times she says it. I'm ready. All right. All right. But I'm going to count on you guys to, <laughs> to keep a, to keep a, a tally going. Oh, um, so we are it. dressed up for the, the biggest day of our lives, really. Christine really is. getting married. She is. Yeah. Now I don't own anything dressy or fancy. I just donated a ton of clothes. I'm no dresses or anything. So I'm going with a, a tank top from a really upscale boutique. It's called Sheen. Ever heard of it? Yeah. Well, I get nothing but ads from Sheen. Is that actually good quality or is it like wish? Oh, pff, no, no. It's oh, but better than Amazon once right? or twice. Yeah, um, uh, but you it. look gorgeous. I love the hair, the necklace, the whole thing, the whole shebang. This, uh, yeah, this is a like onesie, like shorts. Ooh, and this thing's going to be like gaping open the whole time. But um, underneath, I am wearing my uh, pajama pants, so I'm really uh, not going full out here. But from here up, we're going to Christine's wedding. Um, yeah. how is how's everyone, Jody? I haven't. Well, I guess I talked to you recently because we did that. The talkbacks, but it still seems yes. like forever. It's just a stressful time of year. And I know I'm not alone. It's like this holiday thing. It's the first holidays where I've had to split my kids. So you might hear some ruckus. They're coming home after about a week of not being home. So uh, um, yeah, it's just stressful. Work is stressful right now. It's that time of year. So I'm hoping just like shake up January after this. And Are you going to give them big mouth kisses when they get home? Oh, mm. <laughs> mommy kisses. Um, <laughs> <He's on>. Yeah. <laughs> All right. right. Uh, but otherwise, um, no, I'm good, right. good. Watched a couple things this week that I think we're going to do. Good. I'm, I'm interested to hear what you, what you watched. There was a bunch that dropped this week. It was wild. So I tried to kind of catch up on stuff. Yeah. Uh, so a lot of the stuff my mom just gave me updates on, uh, like the Golden Bachelor wedding. I tried to oh, kind of watch that, God. but she'd already give it it's two hours long. I'm not sitting through two hours of the two of them smooching. It was <sighs> awful. I mean, we could just get it out of the way right now. It was well, an hour um, 45. Let's go okay, into our, okay, we'll wait. Okay, got Let's it. go into our whole sequence. I also made a new, um, a new graphic. Um, Ooh, that'll okay. be but um this week i took my mom out to afternoon tea at like the, the tr <gasps> this bougie trendy place in kensington which is kind of downtown but it's like very very trendy hippie-ish and it was like the cutest freaking place ever and i just want to show you the pictures of this um oh, I see. it was just so classy no and this is like food porn um oh, okay. okay so this place was is called her birthday? Ansem her birthday was like two days after Christmas, but like we waited a week because like I couldn't like the amount of food we ate yeah. during Christmas week. But okay, so here's the tea. Oh, like, it's so pretty. Very classy. Very classy. Now this was the first little course. This is just oh, for two people. Yum. 
and oh i love that dessert. that's my speed and then everything else comes on like this little <gasps> carousel oh that's so cute yeah are those like little sandwiches or tarts yeah they're little tea sandwiches and scones and things and cheesecake it was nuts so that was fun uh, I ate like two bites and then I went home and smoked a bunch of pot and then ate all of the leftovers. Um, but that's pretty much all I did. And then, oh, and then, but here, okay, so let's get into some housekeeping now, okay? Okay. Uh, and I have a I have a new graphic for this. Hang on, oh, hang boy. on, here it is. It's not oh, I like just that. So you know, the picture it just says for anyone who's just listening it's just a graphic of a really disgusting like hoarder house aka mm. it's robin's kitchen oh, that was robin's kitchen for real for real yes that was robin brown's kitchen whoa uh, that i pulled that picture off of and then it just says housekeeping but, wow Candle wow star, everyone's saying wow wow let's get into some uh quick housekeeping um we ended up doing two kind of emergency episodes last week uh we did an ama which you guys can all listen to that's on our patreon mm -hmm. and we did our youtube uh watch along thing with the uh talkbacks and stuff but this yeah. week we go back into our normal routine and i'll let you read the banner here julie yeah, we have season nine, episode 11, a boy or a girl? Oh, is it a little baby areola or a, another King Solomon? And then for a total request podcast, TRP, we're doing season 11, episode one of Hoarders with Carol. 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 I've already watched this one and it's, it's pretty good. good. It's a pretty good one. see why they requested it? Okay. All right. Well, I'm pretty excited about yeah. that. The patience um, of this family is beyond crazy. Oh, gosh. All right. Well, as usual, smash that like. Follow us on Instagram and TikTok. Um, we're like close to having a, a thousand uh, uh, TikTok followers. Getting pretty big and, here. Yeah. And hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed right now, because I think we're only 25 away from 6,000, which sounds like a lot, but it's like absolutely not a lot. Smash like in terms like. of YouTube. And smash, smash the, the like. like. Come on. Do some come engagement. On. We got all uh, no, I did from the waist up for you. It's the least. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, I'm wearing like lip gloss with a tint in it. Uh, same. Which is you and I are not. And even then I was like. People. I'm doing this. No, 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 um, no. Now, let me just, if I can wax poetic for a second, Jode, and I know you don't yep. care, but the biggest event that happened to me this week is that finally, after months of me teasing it, my podcast with my friend Joan, whose name is John, um, we uh, just dropped our podcast, Pod and the City. <gasps> it's finally there. I can't wait to listen no. to it. I need I I need like a solid chunk of time because I won't be able to pause it. That's the problem. Oh, I think I think you'll like it. But oh, of um, course there's I'm this going really like it. there's this great vindicating story where like I got this horror in a nutshell, I got a really, really shitty like review, not a review, but like a, a personal message telling me what a piece of shit I am because I got some Hugh Jackman story wrong. And then Basically, if you just listen to the Mixer episode, you will hear that I am completely vindicated and it's the happiest moment of my life. I say that I was like, yes. this is happier than my wedding day, that I was proven cor correct. Wow. Anyway, uh, but I just want to like tell you guys what we have there on the free feed, which is on iTunes and Spotify. It's just our regular pod in the city. This is what we're where we're going to be recapping every episode of Sex in the City and and just like that with uh, Che Diaz, who, uh, listen, like me watching Grey's Anatomy is really helping me have acceptance with Sarah Ramirez. Cause Sarah like Ramirez is so you. good on Grey's. So, yes, it's, it's, it's a struggle. But anyway, okay. and then on our Patreon, um, you can check out, uh, we have four episodes already there. And right now we are recapping the Golden Girls. We did the pilot oh, of the Golden Girls. Um, that's awesome. We're doing a monthly mixer, which is just kind of, current events, hot topics. We just talked. Yes. And yes. And then we did Broad oh. City, the pilot. What a wonderful world. And then we also did Girls, season one, episode one, pilot. So we'll be working our way through all of that. Because we're just so, banging it out. Yeah. Now, we knew from 
two months ago that this would be dropping January 5th, right? And um, guess when I decided, guess when I finally sat down to set up Patreon, ACAST, submit the show, graphics, logo, just guess when I January did. January 3rd. No. 4th? Yeah, January 4th, like <laughs> 9 p.m. I'm like, let's start. <laughs> let's get Aww. this, let's get the show done. But Aww. I work best on pressure like that. So anyway, That's guys, check that out, please. It's good. It's good. Um okay, so oh, uh, okay. also uh, nutty here. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, I'm reading the chat now. Did I miss anything in the chat? No, <laughs> everyone's excited. We've had listeners that are saying it's amazing, it's hilarious. So, guys. Okay, great. Yeah, the devolve. We just want to get things flowing now. Okay. Um. Oh, and Jen from Real Housewives Recaps is going to come on and do an episode with us. Oh, that'll be fun. Oh, I love I know. her. Oh, I love her. I'm so too. jealous. But I'm very. Um, is there any other housekeeping you can think of? Just mm. like updates. I don't know. I got Christine's wedding on the brain. Okay. Now I'm like running through everything I watched this week. So, yeah. Okay. So let's move on to, I guess, really quickly, hot topics. I don't really have that many. Okay. Beautiful. For my hot topics. Oh, this isn't, I didn't really know where to put this, but I told a story on the AMA. Somebody asked a question about like, um, when I, when I used to do theater, like if there were, if there were any like, like, uh, racially insensitive yes. things that I had to be a part of. And I told a story about like, just in general, the, the show, anything goes has a very racist ending. And I was like, I'm pretty sure sh- like, I'm like, I remember that I bowed wearing like a Chinese like oh, dress. And right. I, my mom gave me a photo album of like my show days and I found some gems in there and oh, I did no. find the picture of me bowing. <laughs> so I just wanted to show you that. Uh, here it is. It's a picture of a picture, but oh, there you look see how pretty you look though. Oh, All right. But I'm wearing a full, like, like the whole, the whole plot, the way the whole plot wraps up is completely just racist. Problematic. Okay. <laughs> Very problematic. Was that your and ex-husband that, next to you? That kind of looks like Brad uh, standing next to you. To the left. No, that's Mike Sample. He's like eight feet tall. Oh. Hmm. Brad's okay. somewhere in there. Uh anyway, and then I also found this weird picture that I I I saw it and I was like, first of all, I feel like what I'm wearing in this picture looks like it could work. But then I'm wearing okay. this crazy like rouge. So I feel like this is a costume party. I have no context for this, but this picture just appeared randomly in this photo album. Oh. Okay, so um, this is my basement. There are pretzels. This looks like there's bowls of pretzels and chips behind me for yeah, this whatever is a party. reason. Uh, this party is going to be lit. <laughs> Check out the <laughs> chips and dip. <laughs> On the stairs there, wow. there's like a fluffy looking dog that doesn't belong to us. So I don't know what this dog is. What is happening do you have here? Two like, I want to know the shoes concept. or socks on? I do. So there this must be some kind of theme party that I threw together. Oh. But I have I no mean, memory of this. <laughs> I'm I sure think this so just many looks people like a showed 90s up. party. Because you got the vest, you have the long necklace, and a choker pin is that a beret it's an it's a it's a crocheted beret from uh claire i don't think this was like a mitch a mixed match party i think this was intentional i think this is very purposeful i think you thought you were just looking fine as hell no i can tell that i was trying to make an effort to look like great like zany like i i can tell that that's what my idea is here however really? if you if you like take you away my goals. face like, I would have loved like, to look like if you, this. If you, well, okay. If you just take away my head, the outfit kind of works in today's society. That's what I society. mean. Like, I don't think this yeah. is. No, but I know off. I was. I was trying. I, anyway. <laughs> Maybe, Carling, were you at this party? I have no memory of this, but anyway. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, Joelle says, don't worry, Amanda. I was in the King and I at eight years old was in full body bronzer i mean wow oh yeah i don't even know like how they cast the king and i these days at all 
Yeah. Because it takes place in um, Siam. It's it's completely just about that. Would <laughs> that have been the same party where you told everyone about um, the Lion King soundtrack? That no, that was at someone else's house. Jonathan Taylor Thomas. Oh, okay. No, that yeah, that was at that was at someone else's Amanda house. And at one point during that, amazing. And at one point during that party that I told everyone that, I would just remember like sitting there and I just noticed that slowly everyone had migrated outside except for me. So I was just sitting in like the basement by myself and I just kind of hang hung out there. Oh, okay. Like, so I guess I'll just wait for everyone to come back in. All right. Um, Ka Kathy Griffin That's filed for divorce this week. That's I all I can... I just heard that. That makes me sad. Well, I mean... I guess you should, I mean, when someone gets a divorce, there's a reason for it. So they always should say, like, you shouldn't say, oh, I'm so sorry. You're like, good for you. So good for her. But her yeah. first marriage, that guy totally took advantage of her. Remember? That is, he, like, stole do I remember? That's the stuff? first audio book I ever listened to. And I think it's, um, same. It's, it's a good audio book. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Everyone should listen to it. And like, she tells some like great, great stories in there, but yeah, her yeah. husband, she, she would just like, he would just drive around. Mm -hmm. Like he kind said he had like, like a job. Cody. Cody. He would look busy. But he's going to the casino. So he's working. Yeah. Yeah. But then this, this makes me bummed Boy. out because they were together for a while too. Wasn't he also like 30 years younger? They weren't than married that long, but they were together for a long time. All right. Well, I hope she finds love. It seems like she's someone who like really wants it to work. So yeah, good. I'll, she's had I'll a be... rough go the last ten years, for sure. Um, now the last, my last hot topic is that the Golden Globes were on last night. So are you kind of ready to talk about? Did you watch any of it? <gasps> oh God, Jesus. Sorry. Hi. Okay. Sorry. There was a man. A man. <laughs> He's just holding Scout at the door. Um, I watched approximately three minutes and it's where the guy from your favorite show food uh, oh yeah um, jeremy allen white the one who looks like yeah he looks like a, a more blonde timothy chalamet he won something i was like okay. i think he looks more like seth myers hmm. he's got those bulgy eyes well anyway I kind of see that maybe it's the hair that makes me think chalamet but i just i mean i don't watch anything that's good enough to be nominated for the Golden Globes. So right, yeah. What if Sister Wives got nominated one year? Oh, I would probably I mean, try to attend like awards. We show. would throw an event, like a, a gala, a ball. What would like? I just want to know what they would all wear to that. Robin would wear a blazer, probably, because she's worked. This is my job. something brown. <laughs> McKelty would absolutely wear her gloves, top hat. Um, what about, I think Mary would wear something fun, just like she wanted to for the, oh, the brown uh, edgy, family in fact, ceremony. the word she used. She wanted it to but be edgy. edgy. Scout, what the frick, man? In or out, dude. Um, I think Christine would show off a little cleave. Oh, for sure. And the tattoo, tattoo. That sweet tattoo. Mm -hmm. Janelle. Janelle might Jan just show up wearing flat. her. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> I mean, and maybe hundred percent uh, trusty Janelle. There would definitely be yeah. some sort of like a shrug, uh, or like an like ill-fit, like those little mini coats. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> Kelly Surf says truly in her trench coat, a hundred percent. Truly's not allowed on the red carpet. Okay, <laughs> I mean, that's enough. True. Okay, so we're going to talk obviously about this wedding episode. I, I, again, I had so much fun with my mom watching this. And the oh, funny, like, so honestly, like, my dad is funny. My dad is, like, the sarcastic. He's the one that I get, like, my very dry, kind of unlikable humor at sometimes. I get it Okay. But my mom, very often, will throw out, like, a raging zinger. And, like, just, she just she just goes, I bet Jan she said something like, Janelle's definitely just going to wear Birkenstocks to the wedding, right? And I was like, that's, like, <gasps> so true. And then, like... Yeah. And then during this episode, we were both just, we were desperate for the camera to pan down because Janelle has a couple moments here and we're like, we need to see if she's wearing Birkenstocks, but it never really, they never show it. But I mean, she, she definitely must. And then, brought a sensible sandal to wear to the after party. Oh, I, I don't, I don't think I've, we've ever seen Janelle in heels. I, I think she wore them at the commitment ceremony. Mm, like but a like pump. a, a pump. yeah, like a little pump. With uh -huh, like a half inch with pump. like insoles, 
With like Dr. Scholl's. Oh, it's, for sure. Yeah, They're got like softies or something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah just so it stays comfy. Um, but it, it's it's great. Janelle has some great moments. Um, McKelty is more unbearable than she usually is. No. Really? Uh, yes. I don't think and I'm ready Tony. for this then. There's like a part where like Tony's like giving David advice on married life. Okay. Tony. What? Doesn't David <laughs> yeah. have like eight kids and 32 grandkids? I think yeah. he's got a, a lay of the land by now, Tony. God. Yeah. Thanks, Tony. Oh. Uh, but anyway, back to the Golden Globes. It was really shitty. My mom said that they changed like owners. So it has like a new vision and the vision is not good, babe. And the <laughs> Oh, I saw Joe Coy went... and it, he seemed like he was bombing he he was bombing from the second he stepped out on stage i've never heard of him before i believe really? that he probably is funny oh. i'd never heard of him i looked him up it looks like he was on chelsea lately so i'm like so basically mm. this is like the equivalent to heather mcdonald being the host of the golden globes which would also be yeah I, I, he's more successful than heather mcdonald but his oh that's good to know used to be really funny like i knew his stand-up from a long time ago but i think it kind of in my opinion, maybe went to his head a little bit. Um, oh, well, I, he got very, humbled last night then. Really? It was that bad? Yeah, within a the within the two, first joke. It, it, it And then uh, they kept flashing to Jim Gaffigan sitting in the audience, which seemed very pointed. It just seemed very oh. much like, look, there's an actual like good comedian in the audience. But, oh, wait, but he's not who I did see right before maybe Gaffigan, right before or after, was... Um, America Ferreira and oh, who does she present with? Oh, um, Costner, Kevin Costner. And I was like, is he wasted oh, right. or something? Like he, something was very off. Like the whole tell... thing seemed off. Okay. Like, I don't know what theater they were in. Cause also the theater just seemed very small and stuff, but it's like, it's as if the theater, like when Mercury goes in retrograde, it was like the yeah. theater was just in retrograde and everyone was just off. Okay. And you could tell that, like, the first joke bombed, and then he started getting really nervous. He started laughing at every joke, but like, and it was, and the jokes were also terrible. And then he even said at one point, "I, I just got this gig a, a week ago." But even then, I'm like, you have like so many comic friends that you could just throw fifty dollars a joke to. Well, and well, I'm sure he did, but a lot of his jokes are meant for stand up crowds that love his jokes about that he's Filipino, and you know which it can be very oh, funny, okay. but if you're always, if that's kind of like your shtick, I could see how it'd be really hard to then go and present awards. Yeah. But then they, and they kept showing, like they kept flashing to the audience and everyone in the audience wasn't even hiding, like how uncomfortable the whole thing were. Like people were just like oh, hiding no. their faces. It was just really rough and it wouldn't stop. And you could tell that he just wanted to get off stage. Like that's the, that's why I don't like going to see stand up comedy shows interests comedy but because because i don't want to see someone bomb because i feel so yep. terrible then you're you're laughing extra hard even though it's not and it's a sympathy laugh yeah. yeah you're giving the audience a job now to make you feel better well and don't don't get me started on when crowd work starts <laughs> my the le like the last thing i want is for like yeah. someone on stage to be like oh you put the hey put the spotlight right on this chick sitting here Oh, yeah. No, no, I can't do Hey, that. where are you like, from? Canada. I don't want to be in any sort of show that it has audience participation. I know you love that. You no. love to be called up from the audience. Like Blue Man love Group? It. No, no. Not now, not then, not now, not ever. Don't call me up. <laughs> Aw, thanks, Shanna. Shana. Um, thanks, let's guys. see. What else? Uh, do, have sticker. I ever told that? Have I ever told the story of when I um, got called up on stage for Forever Plaid? Well, I'll just retell it. And it may ring a bell. I'll just tell it. There's a part during Forever Plaid, uh, which Brad has been in two or three times. So I've seen it so many times. I know the show back and forth. But um, there's a part in there where they like take someone out of the audience and they're singing Heart and Soul. And they're like, the bit is that the guy takes the audience member's finger and like plays with one finger, like dun, 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 okay. dun, 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 dun. But I got called up. 
And this is like, I think this was the very first time I'd ever seen the show. So I didn't know what was supposed to happen, but like I went up there and I just started like playing the piano so aggressively in time, like correctly that the person, it was like, it ruined the whole bit. Cause I was oh, like, no. I fucking know this song. I know this song. <laughs> General so Electric it, Company. It was just the most cut. obnoxious. It was one of the most obnoxious things I've ever done, but I like really wanted to impress everyone. And like, uh-huh. now I look back and I'm like, who was impressed by that? Everyone in the show. Just it ruined like, the oh. bit completely. Obviously. <laughs> I look like such a stupid dude. I know what you're going to do. I, I, I know. I know. I, I know. It's yeah. It starts on a G, I think. Or E. <laughs> just plays down the, uh, the scale. There. Oh All right. Uh, <laughs> but uh, yeah. So Golden Globe sucked. And I'm happy that the bear won everything. And I plan also on known watching. As food. Like, also known as food. And you know what else was a big winner? was beef. Really? Yeah. Another show that I haven't watched. Or is that a movie? Uh, it's a mini. It, it got listed as a mini series. Ah. Anyway. But it sucked. And uh, yeah, but I'm going to, I plan on watching a lot of movies this week. Um, like to catch up for like, for the Oscars. Um, do you want to get into what are we watching? Oh, yes, I do. All right, let's see if I can find it there. Hey, what are you watching? Uh, So, well, I I did watch the episode of Hoarders recently, so that's fresh on the brain. I highly might recommend checking that out. I do love that show. Should I plan to, like, eat a big meal while I watch it? Uh, Like, I'm going to obviously be hungry. This one's not going to bother you. This one won't bother oh, me really? food. There's not a lot of like feces or food in this one. So we're just stuck. Oh. Um, and Clutter. just okay. an insufferable hoarder. She really is just. Oh, Are there gross. any watermelons on the floor? No. Lots oh, of rat okay. poop though. Fossilized rat mm. at one point. You'll know what's coming though. Um, well, I don't I want that. Watched, okay. uh, mm. I mean. You know, you've seen one, you've seen a hundred when you're watching. Hunters. <laughs> I guess that's true. Yeah, yeah. I watched Hell Camp. Have you heard of this? Yes, I I heard someone talking about it, maybe Beyond the Blinds or something. And I thought, oh, I bet Jody would love that show. Yeah. So it's I, I'm sure everyone's been watching this, but it's about the like teen outward bound rugged boot camp, and it's gonna fix you sort of thing. Um, I wasn't impressed with the wrap up of it like i thought we were going to okay. be going somewhere with it um and it was Is this just kind of like, like a scared a scared straight type situation yeah you know like when you would watch like maury povich or jenny well, jones obviously. or whatever and of course be the, the first out, thought the, i had yeah the outrageous teens you know the unruly ones and they're gonna send them to the middle of the desert and they're gonna you know do whatever it's really just traumatic and really i wish they would have gone into how traumatic it is long term that your parents did this to you. Your parents paid sixteen thousand dollars upward to kidnap and terrify you. Um, I, it, it's not. It wasn't as disturbing to watch as I thought it was going to be. But um, my ex husband, um, his brother, his brother got that treatment. He didn't go to like <gasps> this hell yet, but he like he, in the middle of the night he had like people like come like police come and like drag him out in the middle of the night and like take him to like a a rehab or something and I, and he is like i know he's still traumatized by it because things did not really get that much better after that yeah i just think their whole thing that they kept going back on was that this that they're teaching kids that there's a consequence to your actions and it's like oh okay i get that but once they leave there they know the consequence isn't going to be to just go immediately back like their parents are gonna have to save up sixteen grand to go back, so I don't think it's like that. Oh my god, it's punishment. Like just say that it's punishment. You know, I don't know. Um, You're right. But yeah, it's a good watch. I think you could put it on, just blast it out. You'd be entertained. How about you? Um, I've watched. Watch? Uh, so I just watched the Golden Bachelor. Do you just want to like get that out of the way? Yeah, I right, tried f- watching the first ten minutes and fast forwarded Oof. oh yeah fast forwarded through well, jesse like, palmer being so awkward and douchey 
Oh, the whole thing the just worst. seemed like a like an ad for all the other Bachelor franchises. Yeah, like, I don't know any of you people. before the ceremony. They're like, oh look, look who's here. It's uh, Wells, the bartender with drinks go away was wells actually in it i because i if, if he was i probably i saw a moment i saw a moment okay. where he came in with was sarah highland there no idea worst drag race guest ever okay. i mean literally you have to just fast forward through an hour and 45 minutes to yeah. get to the actual wedding and then even then i was just like fast forwarding fast forward because uh what's her name susan the the minister yeah stop making it all about you susan it was like, like Cody you, giving the me, the Susan, former contestant on The Golden Bachelor, performing a ceremony. Who would have thought? Like Joe I mean, Coy level silence, like just nothing. Um, how, they're the, so uh, inspirational to everyone. Sorry, it's like you're an older couple getting married. This yeah, isn't not at all. A Nobel Peace Prize. Just, it was so much filler of just the two of them, like. Huh? After tomorrow, we'll never have to walk into an empty house again. And the kiss, the kissing. Oh my god! I'm like, okay, we get it. You and then the first half was just them uh, spending Christmas together. Too many children running around for my liking there. Mm -hmm. Kids off camera. I don't need the kids to be interviewed for yeah. this. And I'm just sure what they thank think about you, this. Karen, for saying this. Way too much, Kathy. Kathy needs to know that Kathy. Yeah is and never going to be a thing yeah go i mean yeah. she's right up there yeah. with aurora go away oh yeah and everything was i'm single i'm a single older lady hopefully next this time next year i won't be single because i'm an older woman chances are dwindling Ugh. But, and it's also messed up that like all of the women had to come to this and like be interviewed like so uh, are you happy for the couple and it's like no because i that guy broke my heart and I'm still fucked up over it. Yeah. Yeah. Totally agree. Um, yeah. Couldn't do it. Yeah. Couldn't how do it. about. Don't, oh, don't worry. We're getting. Are we getting to Natalia Grace or you, or you want to tease it a little bit? I got Natalia Grace and I got Gypsy Rose Blanchard. I have that. And okay, uh, then Real, and then Real quick, Husbands of Salt City. Oh, that's such good ones. Okay, really discussed. quick. I will just say um, I watched BitCon. It just came out on Netflix, I believe. Pretty okay. good because I feel like bit conned. It's about like these three guys, how they did like this whole Bitcoin thing and basically just stole millions of dollars. Oh, but it was a con. I got it. Okay. Yeah. Got yeah. It. It, it's pretty good, even if you're not into that kind of stuff, which I'm not. It's kind of like the fire festival of Bitcoin sort of thing. So watch right. it because I feel like the three guys, everyone knows those three guys like went to high school with those three guys and could have predicted sure. all of this from the get-go it's pretty good you like it okay do you want to do gypsy rose natalia or real housewives first um let's talk about natalia and then gypsy so natalia grace did you watch it okay so i listened to resting bitch pod and mm -hmm. julie watched all of it Justine had only seen the first episode, as had I. And then okay. I think I texted the group chat, like, hey, Julie, I'm listening. Because uh, she was like, this did not need to be this many episodes. Which is this, which Absolutely I will say is the agree. same for the Gypsy Rose thing. I'm like, I'm, I'm, like, because my my mom and me were watching it last night. We're like, what more is there to say? And like, honestly, I'm like, mom, you should just watch Mommy Dead and Dearest, because that gives you all of this information. Yeah. Agreed. just in a better format too long but uh, i asked like can i just watch the first and the last episode and julie's like absolutely so that's what i did yeah. i'm glad that i did and um i think it's insane that they had her and michael sampaku eyes mcgee uh interact with each other it's it, the whole thing was crazy christine's name is evil like the way he drinks his water his posturing and the way he speaks is so crazy disturbing like i need i need this like i need water and oxygen i need someone to sit down in front of him and just be like you do realize that no one thinks you are charming and captivating and smart and likable you are trying so hard and every single person who has met you 
or seeing you thinks you are smarmy. Like, I, I just need that to be done. Yeah. He's, and I don't know how he goes through life on a day to day basis. I don't get it. He's married again. I, I would, I know. I would love to know, like, what his actual, like, diagnoses would be if, like, an actual, like, therapist, like, really got to know. Cause, like, I'm sure it's further than just sociopath or psycho. Psychopath. Like, it, I think he, he probably has, like, a bunch of stuff. Because yeah, he's, he's crazy. He ain't right. No, uh, now, Natalia, you said this last week, but like, I think they're both a little bit sociopathic. And uh-huh. yeah, like, just the way it was just very performative and seemed very scripted and very like, yep. so, Michael, why did you adopt me? And did you know I was like, this isn't... what Christine did to me? Fake tear, no tears, like Robin level. Yeah, no I know. I think we're so used to watching Robin. Out. Out. Yeah. yeah, no, I think she is a sociopath. Whether I think it's like nature and nurture did did that. Totally. Yeah, totally. I think both things are true. I yeah. think she I think I do believe she was at the foot of their bed with a knife when she was like, no, I couldn't I have done that. that. He's like, because the way he responded, I don't know if you saw this part when he's like, no, I remember that. Yeah, it I was so that. different than his other speech patterns. Yeah, because for the most of it, he was agreeing with everything she was saying because he clearly came into this like Robin Brown would to be like, I need to get everyone back on my side. So I'm just going to agree with her and just play her as the the victim. victim. But then when she was saying that, he's like, he's like, yeah, no, I see where you're coming with uh, coming from with that. But I mean, you you were definitely at the foot of the bed, though, with the knife. Like, I remember it. Like I, yeah, I so I do believe. Remember you I believe. Yeah. I like I. It's lodged into my brain, but um, I did have a moment of full clarity where, where like, like as you know, I'm completely just desensitized to. I, I, I'm not triggered by like kid stuff, like baby yeah. kid stuff. I'm I'm triggered by like an animal even being like appearing on the screen for one second and then I like freak out and like immediately go to does the dog die.com and see if I can Aww. keep watching the movie. But I did have an actual moment where I was like, I felt sick. Cause I think now that she is grown up, like she's in her 20s, and mm-hmm. you can see how she does look like an adult now. And then you look yeah. at all of the older pictures and it's like, no, that was a kid. And I think that before we just kind of were talking lightly about it. I was like kind of making fun of it just cause I just, I just thought it was such an insane idea that I was like, Oh no, she was definitely an adult. Yeah. I didn't ever really think that, but it was just like a funny concept to like, ha ha about. Right. But then I had the moment of being like, Oh, but she actually was a kid then. And then I can't get the image out of my head of her dragging those garbage cans out to the street and like them yeah. filming her and she was like that was an actual like 11 year old doing that and that really make, no, she was like makes eight. me very emotional she that's so awful so it's like it's like i think second, my brain wasn't grade. letting myself accept like the truth of it and then once i did accept it i was like whoa i can't even yeah. like let myself think of that because that that's so awful that she was actually oh, a child oh it's terrible i mean they never <sighs> should have even been cleared to adopt a child in the first place like how does one meet Michael Barnett and be like, you know what? This guy, this is it. Yeah. He's, he's going to do something here. He's going to really change some lives. Especially Um, when there was another little couple who was actively really trying to get uh, custody of her. I don't remember what happened, why they didn't, but they seem like, like, it seems like that would have been maybe the better fit because they know what they're dealing with, but no, give it to the, and now one of the last things you see, like the last 12 seconds, and this is going to be a spoiler. Oh, yeah. So spoiler alert. Yeah. Uh, not surprising. I didn't think this was surprising at all because I thought the way that she hugged the dad was kind of weird. Um, Antoine Mans. We see almost after all the credits have rolled, there's a little black screen update saying the man's are now not in contact with her. They said she was tweaking out. She's crazy. She like took advantage of them. That's how she treats people she loves. And it's kind of left there. So it's like, okay, well, what happened? Right. Uh, I, uh, I, I don't know. I don't know either. I, I, but, I mean, obviously it's going to come back for another season. I can't sit through seven, eight more episodes of this. I can't take another seven or eight of Natalia Grace. I'm going to need a, a just a 
I don't know, a Reddit search to let us know what went on. But uh, yeah, it's uh, yikes. Natalia Grace oh, speaks, I think. And you know what What I can't unsee now? Because I had just watched Natalia Grace. And then, of course, as we know, I'm going through Grey's Anatomy. The plane crash happened. Um, they they wrote off two of characters. The plane crash Remember? one? Yeah. Oh, no, you did. Oh, you no, no, no. I mean, like an actual. Yeah. You saw a plane crash. Um, yeah. Okay. On certain angles, Sarah Ramirez looks like Natalia Grace. <laughs> and it just needs you to, like, like from especially from a profile I can see that. They, have the same, they have the exact same face i think that they both have that like intense kind of stare yeah and they have a similar nose like i mean they just they, they they are they look similar to each other so anyway that's yeah. neither here nor there it's just a observation that i made let's talk about um gypsy rose did you watch this okay no i don't think i watched all the parts the reason being exactly what you said i'm like i know to. all of this already yeah like, i know more about gypsy than gypsy knows about herself what do you yeah. want to and know? i've seen like, the what act. Could you possibly tell me yeah exactly i've seen all of those mommy dead and dearest every dateline every uh yeah the act and she's doing TikToks and instagram lives and stuff now so which you know, which is exactly what she should she... be doing like get it she did a yeah. podcast today that came out do you think we could oh. get her no, nope, I feel like if we were to, to get her, it would have to be like today, right now, before she realizes how much bigger she is than, than this podcast. Oh, God, but I feel scary. like she's saying yes to everything right now. Now, what do you think about her husband with that hot D? Okay. I hated, was it you that sent that to the group text? That was like, no, like, don't but worry, baby. Everyone's just jealous that we're banging it out every night. I was like, yeah. Oh, she says her husband's. <laughs> D is fire. Oh God. Gross. Gross. How long do you give that relationship? Oh. Oh yeah, they're definitely like breaking off no contact within the year. I'd say six months if that. That's it would that's sad. If he really does love her, that is sad. Because I feel like it's gonna be a slew of of Nathan Griffins. Oh. Griffiths of, of okay. people who are just gonna like date her because she's famous uh, well for sure and I think she's gonna see that she that there's other D's out there that are more fire than her yes that are more fire than her husband who looks exactly like her mom but with glasses I mean they really do <laughs> like I that was somebody sent to our disturbing. chat like it was like the where you like where you take two images and you just kind of slide it over so they morph into each other and it is the uh -huh. exact same face. The image didn't even like move or shift. Ugh. I don't like it. But I mean, she seems, I mean, I'm interested to see where this go because like, I just, I, this is such an interesting um, example of like somebody going to jail for murder, but like literally zero people are scared of her now that she's out there again. Like no one needs to be she scared be, of her. She could turn and be like extra maybe now though maybe like, learned some things in there yeah for sure because that voice i feel like she can quit the voice now too like i think she can quit the voice can, you can bring it down a couple octaves you can try yeah if you're conscious of it you can yeah i'm interested okay. to see but i'm happy that she's making bank because it's just just seeing like her teeth like the fact that like like her mom just had her teeth removed for like no reason it's just so like Feeling like that among other stuff. things oh, awful that's wild and she says you that her voice is because mention, didn't she have like something she had something like her vocal cords like snipped or something like she Ooh. had something she had some surgery in her uh voice box that that's why she has to talk higher because it doesn't hurt as much which okay. i mean i believe that well, Dr. Drew, as you know, he always said on Loveline that the baby voice indicates the age at which the trauma occurred. Yes. So I believe that as well. I, mean, her um, trauma yeah, occurred I think before we can all did. agree we're, we're somewhat afraid of, of Gypsy. I think it's okay to, it? to be a little cautious. Tread lightly, you know? Right. I, took out her I, I would definitely, if she was my neighbor, I would be very nice to her. Like I, I would, I would oh, have, I would make sure that I was on her good side at all times. Her mom took out her saliva gland, so her teeth rotted. Isn't that also what Mary on Real Housewives of Salt Lake City had done? 
Oh or was that God. her sweat her sweat glands or something? Her scent. Oh no, wasn't it wasn't it Beverly Hills? No, it was Mary Cosby. Yeah, someone has Yeah, but someone on Beverly Hills had something with their throat, right? Mm. Who am I thinking of? Yeah. Or they can't uh she can't swallow? Who was it? Oh, it's a uh, Sutton. Sutton. Oh, doesn't, Sutton. Doesn't there's something she oh. with her throat? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, According to uh, what's her face, the new friend, that's impossible. Name yeah. them. Name them. Name them. Name them. Um, so speaking of Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, are we ready? Yeah, to, let's do to it. Talk about it. I'm ready. Oh, now this I dress. don't know this because dress. I have. I kind of loved it. I know, but look at these other three women. They they all just look insane. Lisa. These are like the four craziest outfits I've ever seen on TV. I love it so much. Lisa. Oh my God. I can't touch that. Jack. What? Fresh what? Wild. What? Um, Whitney's like, why? Whitney's like me. Can you explain one more time? Her to what? It's a meme. You exploded my vagina. Go oh, ahead. that. You could tell that that was one of those, like, rants that you go on when you're super drunk, and then the next morning she woke up and she was like, all right, I guess I'm going to address it, but, like, I really need, I want to forget that I ever, because it, it's, it's like when you get that drunk, you you focus on, you hyper-focus on one point that you weren't ever yeah. mad about until this moment, and now she that's all She knew the whole season about. this was going to be her thing. She was going to come in with it, right. and it just didn't fit because everyone's so beyond it and was Didn't so work. stupid. Because even Heather um, was like, just get away from me, dude. Like, let me just walk over here. I'm over this. Yeah. But my favorite moment, I mean, I guffawed out loud. And I think this is when I texted the group chat. This episode is camp and it doesn't even know it's camp. Or maybe it doesn't uh -huh. know it's camp. But um, it's the moment where like Heather's in that yellow dress with the, what is it? Jade? I got you jade earrings. Michael. Michael. Mm. Trauma. That's from an episode. Of I, I but, um, for some reason, I really loved the dress. I don't know why. I don't know if it was the color or just like the, I couldn't stop looking it's at it. It's interesting. It looks comfortable for sure. You could eat like a yeah. whole shrimp ring and oh. yeah, the dress was still <laughs> the same. But she's standing on the beach and like they have this music inserted like dun 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 dun. But mm. it's like, and, and like the sun is starting to set and she's standing on the beach, like waiting for the girls to come. But you can tell that like, maybe they got delayed an hour because of lighting or something really like, yeah. technical. Or they had to and now it's a ready little... in their rooms. Yeah. yeah. But now it's a little too windy. Like it's more windy than it was when this was going to be optimal. So she's yep. standing there and the wind is blowing way too hard. And she's like, her eyes are just like. Her hair blows over <laughs> and you see one of her clip in like... sentence. <laughs> She's trying to keep her dress so that it doesn't like blow up and like show her ass. Yep. And it's just her waiting there. <laughs> just like her eyes like fluttering. Loved so it. So good. And Meredith's I just like this. a gog. Just what? Um, what? <laughs> so okay. What do well, you think? I, I don't know why, but I still like Monica. Like she oh. made the season. She Isn't that is the, the voice of reason? Don't we all love Monica? Because she's ever she's what all of us like would never have the balls to do, but also like would dream of doing of like infiltrating this group. Yeah, I mean, like, it is very creepy and sneaky, and the way you can just lie right. like that, knowing that you've talked to people and trashed people, and now you're celebrating your birthday with them or going to their homes and stuff. That is a whole level of just really. I don't know if is it ballsy? Is it crazy? Is it I think it's just ballsy because I would never cruel? do it. But like imagine if you got the opportunity to like um be a friend of on like sister wives. Like I'd want to do it, but I don't think I would because I, I I wouldn't be able to pull it off. I I, I, yeah. I would crack under pressure in two seconds. But yeah. Yeah. it's cool that she did that. But and then I um I said this on my mixer episode with joan um check us out on patreon but uh that um she she um she came across i was impressed when she at the end was like yeah i knew it was gonna come out eventually and she's like gossip girl couldn't stay gossip girl forever and i was like oh so you just don't even care like you yeah. you don't even feel bad which i kind of think makes her a little more likable too she's so, like i don't care now, do you think she's gonna be going back or coming back for another season because i think 
she needs to. But I don't I think, think the other ladies are going to... I don't think they're going to film with her. I think they're going to refuse to film and then they're just going to be stuck. Sure. But like even John was like, well, they can't have an episode where they can't have a season where nobody's going to film with her. And I'm like, they have done the past like four seasons of sister wives with literally no one being in the same room as anyone else. Yeah. Or Mary not filming with anyone. Like she should never have been back this season. I don't even know why they had Mary back. Oh, Mary Cosby. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. Get yeah. That was, they, I think they thought they needed that, but then like, like I, I hope she gets written out now. Cause we, we do not, we didn't need her. I didn't even think of her during the finale. Yeah. Yeah. No, she wasn't there. She doesn't go at anything. So she should be gone. I thought Monica made it a great season and maybe it's just, I, yeah, I, I think, Oh, here we go. Justine says, I think she's going to be the greatest one season wonder of all time. That's interesting. Oh, no, I, I, I like Diana. You want a villain? You want a villain? You go, oh, you go. oh, she sucked. Dun, dun, she was like dun, Mary dun. level of I can't watch. I just Who was her husband? Her. Oh, oh, Asher. Asher, Asher, Asher Monroe. Ship from Beast. Ship from Beast. Loser. From the touring production of Beast. Tickling the ivories. Oh, <laughs> oh, babe, you just Some, you play piano. Oh, sometimes I like to come down in the morning. I sneak in behind him, and he's playing piano, and it's just very erotic to me. Sure. <laughs> what did he sing? He sang like "Away in a Manger," or "Silent Night," or something, and they all had to sit there and listen. And then Erica, it was it was too. "Oh Holy Night." Like I don't really have a memory of it, but I guarantee you, if he was singing a Christmas carol, it was definitely "Oh Holy Night." <laughs> Oh God! I know. I, uh, no, I, know great season. I can't wait for the for the reunion. It's on tonight, uh, right? We have oh, a no, lot tomorrow. of good. We have a lot of good housewives on now. I'm I'm watching all of them. Potomac, all right, and Beverly Hills, and Legacy is now over. Miami is pretty good. If you're not a housewives watcher, well, I can mention. I it. said this to John too, but like this is the first ep- uh, housewives that I've ever watched. Like as it was airing from the beginning. So I feel like yeah. that was so special to me that I got to experience that with like everyone else, like actually live and in the like moment. Baby like, I feel like I earned it. Yeah. And I remember like, it was during a pandemic where we were both like, well, let's just put out like a whole bunch of podcast episodes because we have nothing else to do. And you were like, well, there's mm-hmm. this new, there's this new season of like Salt Lake city coming on. I guess we could watch that. And thank God you did. Thank God we did. Thank God the rest was did. magic. All right. Um, um, all I have. Any other news in, in in Brown Town? Should we go to? I think we need to go to Brown Town. Oh, also, I saw Killers of the Flower Moon, and uh, it was off. It was definitely good in the way that, like, I feel like Gone with the Wind is probably really good, but like, or Citizen Kane. But I'm not going to sit down and rewatch that. Yeah, like, I respect it. It, it was. It seems like I can learn too it. many things. Oh, I'm sure it's no. a great film. I learned way too much. I am not good enough for the film. And I can admit that. Oh, my dad was loving it, though, because my dad is, like, one of the smartest people I've ever met in my entire life. But, he, I mean, he he, he was like, he's like, this is my favorite Martin Scorsese movie of all time. I was like, really? I didn't even know he was part of it. It's boring. It was interesting, though. I mean, I wouldn't, I don't think you'd like it. But, I, I mean... You have to like pay attention if, to if it's anything stuff. like food Oof. count me out well if it was something like food then it would be good all right let's get into brown town a special um special uh wedding edition here we go oh i'm getting married <laughs> we get married So we're going to hear a lot of that. Wow. I'm getting married today. Oh my God. You're 51. I I like that the little poop emoji was wearing McKelty's top hat. That was my favorite little touch. Yeah. It kind of plopped onto his little Mm -hmm. head there. I don't think I said in my entire, like leading up to my own wedding. And I was 24. I was immature as hell. I don't think I once uttered the phrase, I'm getting married today. No, I think I was like, all right, let's go. Let's no, let's get out of here. Yeah, yeah, never said it. I'm getting yeah. married. You're like, yeah, we know. Been 50. planning this. And she's going to say it a whole bunch next episode, too. But, like, good for her. 
she, if you really look, I, I had to tell my mom this too. If you just read, reread the book for anyone who's just tuning in for the first time, we have done the entire book reading on our episodes here. Uh, and her first wedding was seriously abysmal, right? Yeah. Aww. You want to read yeah. that? Allison Shenton. That's adorable. My son, who's severely autistic, always comes running when he hears the brown town music trumpets. He loves it. That's adorable. <laughs> It's repetition, well, it's yeah. No, it's horrible. like satisfying. Oh, I yeah. I sing it to myself in my head all the time. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Do it all the time. Yeah, um, I know. Like I, I don't even remember, but like the time before we ever had that, before we ever had yeah, like that music playing, doing? or the fart noise after. The very first version of that I did, it didn't have the fart afterward. Mm. Amanda, what did you do before I had you watch <laughs> Sister Wives? What was life like? Just explain to us. I guess what I just watched. Like. I guess Teen Mom. A lot of Teen Mom. Mm. The Office. Amanda loves to hate Teen Mom. I do love to hate. Yeah, I need to put another episode. Um, of that. Uh, yeah, I mean, her first wedding was absolutely awful. It was horrible, and she was marrying Cody. So she was marrying Cody, and uh, she. Lo I mean, the dress. For goodness' sake, I mean oh, Annie. I know you kind of had to throw that together, but good lord. Um. Annie, like it, it would have been better if Annie just taken the piece of white material and like made it into like the dress that Heather was wearing on Salt Lake City. Oh yeah, just, like shove some kind of a, a neckline in there, and then you're good. Yeah, she would have had to show like a little clavicle, and that would have been. Scandalous. Oh no! And then the fact that that Christine says in the book, like, oh, I realized. Like their honeymoon was driving through the sticks of Montana, and Christine said, and listening to Phantom of the Opera. Yeah, and, that in. and then and cody wouldn't even like look at her he was just staring ahead and like driving well because his tummy like, was just upset because he had that soda cold. pop the night before oh no that had already happened this was just him oh, being depressed God. over like the fact that he married this chubby girl oh god the sight of she must have been hungry chili cheese nachos oh, to say god. he was disgusted would be an understatement yeah it would definitely be an understatement mm. there was chili and cheese everywhere 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 so uh yeah so if you look at that it's like okay like you just have to let her be excited but also you're 51 so like maybe let her have pass this for that. but we can whatever. do that. um some of the funniest things too is uh so like we're on janelle sandal watch here we're gonna look for the birkenstocks like make okay. sure that they make sure we're constantly watching her feet mckelty's horrible very annoying um the special is exactly what you think it would be it's very fake mm. and like scripty. We're like, okay. she's getting her makeup done, and like all three of her girls come up and are like, So, how's it going, Mom? Oh, I love David. But it's that's what we knew it was gonna be. Sure. And then at one point, uh, Cody does cut down a tree and then like loses his mind and has like a tantrum. Oh, I because it doesn't wait. fall, I think, the way he yeah, no. So oh. there's there's a lot of gems. <laughs> it's okay, a lot of gems, I promise. This. But first, let's get into just some brown town news. Yeah. Um the Ashley, the Ashley's Reality Roundup, which is the best place to get any of your reality TV news and mm -hmm. gossip. Um, she put out a survey last week um, of, of like a, like an like awards of like biggest comeback of all time, most shocking breakup, and um, <laughs> Sister Wives won pretty much every award, and it is so funny. As it should. so, let me just. Like, do you want? I'll just go through them. There's only like five or six. Um, okay, so biggest reality TV train wreck of 2022. 20, this must be 2023. 20, um, guess who won that? Mm, Cody. Yeah, Cody Brown, Sister Eyes. Um, and <laughs> it says Janelle Evans and her husband David Eason have dominated this category for years, but this year's this year, Cody Brown, with his manic dancing, ridiculous dramatic speeches, and blatant disregard for the majority of his wives and children, came in to snatch the prize and be named the biggest train wreck. Um right. and that says honor a lot. Janelle and David did not have a good year, so that's saying a lot. They never do. Uh, most, uh, uh, honorable mention is Paul and Karini, by the way. Oh, God. Forgot about that. I don't really even... Did, oh, yeah, because like he went missing, remember? Yeah, and he was like maybe dead. That's right. 
And still, Cody won over that. Cody won over somebody like faking their own death. God. <laughs> Most shocking split of 2022. Guess what that is? Well, 22. Uh, Christine and Cody? Or this Janelle? is saying 2022, but I think this is 2023 or something. Okay. Um, yeah, it's Cody and Janelle. And that is, oh, that's literally over Ariana and Tom Sandoval. Oh, that's a really good point. Yeah. Uh, honorable mention was Kim and Barry Plath. Welcome to Plathville, which I get, I feel like that should have won too, but no, nope, mm. Cody and Janelle, that's it. The spell a bar. <laughs> Solid. Solid. All right. Biggest reality TV villain of 2022. Oh, Cody. Cody Brown, sister wise. Really Cody's should back be for Robin, second. though. Like, if we're really going to yeah. look at this, it really should be Robin. Well, I mean, it's the chicken or the egg. Cody's That's back true. for a second year as reality TV's biggest villain. The Sister Wives patriarch won this title uh, last year and continued his crazy, manic, and sometimes downright mean ways, uh, causing many of his children to sever ties with him or be estranged. Honorable mention mm -hmm. is Jason Corpy from Unexpected. Do you remember that guy? No. He had that, he kind of like had like, like Polly D hair kind. No, did he, he had like really curly <laughs> hair horrible. and he was like, all of those teenage I mean, boys are the yeah, worst. We know he, he's terrible. Um, okay. Shows you were most embarrassed to watch in 2022. Now this is not sister wives, but we're, it's adjacent. Okay. It's a, uh, any of the teen mom shows. Just oh, any of them. okay. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like lo the, the you got me there. lowest you got rating. Me there historically low levels of ratings here but like this is the one that you should be embarrassed to um well, watch an honorable mention moms is... anymore they're almost 30 <laughs> they they're just they moms at 30. this point <laughs> <laughs> all right most okay here we go most annoying reality tv star of 2022 most annoying mm -hmm. areola or we no. can't have minors aurora it's Cody. It's Robin. It is Robin. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, Aurora's <laughs> mom. Basically Aurora. Okay, got it. It is Aurora. Robin yeah. Brown. Um, Farah Abraham dominated this category for an impressive 10 years before this year. Wow. Where she was edged out by Robin from Sister Wives. <laughs> Good job, Robin. Something to really be proud of. Yeah. Oh, Robin really showed a different side of herself during season 17. Her frequent sob sessions, condescending attitude, and ability to always turn herself into a victim were just some mm. of the things Robin did that annoyed viewers this year. She Honorable mention, Fairy Abraham. She just doesn't no. understand. I don't know. I don't know what went wrong. I don't know. All right. Most shocking reality TV related scandal of 2022. You probably wouldn't guess this. Quick, but Pumper? it's Todd and Ju No, I thought it was oh. too, but it's uh, Todd and Julie Christie going to uh, prison. Mm, okay, uh, that's pretty really good. About them. Favorite new reality TV show of 2022 is The Kardashians. Um, okay, I don't care about them. Best reality TV comeback or change? I'm going to call this like glow up of 2022. Sister Wives? Yeah, but who? Oh, Christine. Yeah. She's oh, okay. the hero. Thank God. Thank God. Yeah. She, got, she's she's uh, serving that you were how say Stella Mary got her groove back. Oh, oh. no, no, no. No, so she, served, she had her how Stella got her groove back moment this year. Uh, she's living her best life. I believe life. I made uh, that as a cover for one of the episodes last year. I put Christine on Stella's face. You did. Yes, you did. Another one. Oh, by the way, Natalia Grace pulled a bear boots. A Kimbo. You were the first special. one to say a Kimbo. Honorable mention was Sean Astin from Teen Mom: The Next Chapter, and I gotta say I don't know who that. Oh, it's oh. Jade's husband. Okay, Sean Austin. Sure. Um, reality TV show that should retire next year is any Teen Mom show. Yeah. And honorable agree. mention is Jersey Shore Family Vacation. Um, um, let's see. Oh, an overall favorite reality TV show of the past year. Well, Sister Wives, overall favorite. It's gotta Sister be. Wives, baby, and they won. Be. It's got to be, yeah. We watched it, we laughed at it, and we loved it. Sister Wives had coasted along in years past, bringing lukewarm content about wet bars and property lines and whatnot. Although I would argue that that's exhilarating content for me. Yeah, that's. I'll watch the wet bar season right now. 
Uh, yep. Yeah. Honorable mention 90 day fiance. So sister wife beat 90 day fiance. So I agree. Doing 90 right day is there. not that great anymore. I mean, there's some good stuff. I'm actually watching the current season. That's probably over soon. I'm trying to get caught up. And there's some couples that are just like, Ugh. you know, it just drags. They need to shorten their season. That's 90 day fiance. Yeah. Issue. Just uh, my up. mom, like, cause the, the commer we watched this live at her house yesterday. So we were getting a lot of 90 day fiance commercials and she's like, that is one show I will never watch Amanda. And I'm like, oh yeah, I don't really know many of the people. And then it was like a, um, an ad for pillow talk and it was just showing all the couples and I was like, I know who every single one of those people are. So I've, yeah. I've seen a lot more than I think I want to admit to myself that I have. Probably. So probably. anyway, congratulations sister wives for being the best show of the year, but also like Cody and Robin, like the best shows you need to really take the shows. Away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, okay. Let's just check out some Instagram stuff. Now um, I'm going to blast through uh, Christine okay. And um, Christine and Mary, if there are any. Um, oh, really quickly here. Somebody is starting a new career. Uh, I... Hey, it's been a while. It has been a while, which is why it's so much worse. Because I, <laughs> Which is why you weren't expecting it. I assumed it. I was in the clear. Yet here we are. Well, Holly, you should have been tipped off when you heard that somebody got a job, back. though. Howie the crab is back, and um, he's serving up he's serving up some les poissons uh, with his little chef hat on, and he has a new little floaty. There's no way this crab finds this to be a good time, and I'm starting to suspect that there's actually several hundred Howie the crabs that they pose no you can tell you dinner. can tell this is her no they pose their dinner <laughs> with a little hat on it, take a picture, eat it up. Go to the Jewel Osco the following week, get another Just one. Just get another one. Pose them in the pictures. This is getting ridiculous. But it, what, what, what no, is on because... this plate? Is that cheese and lettuce? Yeah, there's like a craft single and lettuce. Yeah. I'm I'm pretty sure like pita people, we shouldn't be eating feeding crabs cheese. That doesn't seem to be like what the like during yeah. caveman dinosaur days crabs were not eating a, a craft craft single. craft singles. What is yeah. this? Mm, Sixty four slices of American cheese. Is there a, um, like a wait? Put that back up for a second. Is there a rotating blade fan over how it looks shoulder? like? There's a fan back that? there. Yeah, but this is really just to show that um she has a new like this thing that she's standing on here. It like floats in the water, so she's like she's like on like a little raft. In her tank. Oh, so they're oh okay. So Howie the crab is supposed to just trust that this thing isn't gonna let it drown. Well, crab. I'm that not on board with this. I think it's crab cruelty. Right. Just saying. <laughs> okay. Um, Christine. Okay, so Christine's wedding obviously aired. So all week she's been kind of. I mean, I'm sure she has to promote it. Although I'm sure it wasn't hard to get her to promote this, but um, she posted this. Married. She's getting oh, married today. Yeah. Here, so oh God, she, uh, wait, I hate this right off the bat. Yeah. Is this for she David's makes Crocs? Yeah, they wore this to the rehearsal dinner. And also, just so you know, just so you can prepare yourself, she makes him wear a series of like different like t-shirts. Like, I mean, the um, the amount of emasculation. I mean, good for her, I guess. Like the I'm <laughs> with her, like one of those. Yeah, I'm with my wife. Yeah, one. I think the one he wears he wore last night was like groom the man the or like the man the myth of the groom or something i don't know just like a she makes him wear a lot of matching tees but she got um she okay, got these so crocs a pair of white and black crocs with um mm -hmm. what do they call those things you guys know it widgets oh they're i think it is widgets something. and they're all disney themed and she said for our wedding rehearsal tomorrow because we're getting married we surprise surprised david by wearing crocs he loves crocs that's Probably the least shocking piece of information. I ever. hate that. <laughs> Truly I don't decorated. Want to know that a his man hair. loves loves Crocs. Like one is he's like, okay, my wife, whatever. I'm just gonna do this thing for her. But the fact that he right. loves Crocs, I'm pretty passionate about Crocs. I gotta say, because my feet really fit into them. Yeah, because both my feet will fit into the same. Like I hair. feel like they're so like no. floppy and big and loosey. Oh, but you 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 can turn that you can turn that little thing out and you go into sports mode. Sport mode. 
Oh. Sport mode. <laughs> so it was they like Disney sure. on their honeymoon. Uh, yeah. Well, someone else is in Disney right now too for a little teaser. Truly decorated his pair. It was an awesome. Uh, can you move that off the screen there? Truly, the truly's screen? too old to be like playing with a man's shoes. I don't like this. And then check out my Amazon link in, in here for other things we found that made our day special. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so great. I'm deleting this. Get your last look at it. Um, Janelle. Okay, so here's here's something. It was a New Year's. Chris, oh, whoops. Christine lit off some fireworks in her. I thought this was a... This, reads as a janelle post oh i assume like, this was janelle through. no this I'm is christine shocked. it's a sparkler in the middle of the street and it just says fireworks are still so exciting cue the See, least exciting I picture of fireworks moment, I've ever seen. i thought this was like a native american dancer oh. in motion and like the light like they were oh, holding no. something they were going in motion but this is just a <gasps> just a sparkler going off in, yeah, the, in the middle of the street cool yeah I don't. I never understand why okay. people photograph or video fireworks. Stupid. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I know. I agree. I, I will need a thousand dollars if you actually rewatch that video you took of fireworks. Right. Um. Here's this. Um. Uh, Christine just posted this like really late last night, so it's just her and David holding their wedding cake. The. Aww. It's nice. I, I actually like that cake a lot. It's fine. Uh, okay, so yeah. moving on to uh, moving on to the big news of the week. People, I, I have broken. I've stared at this picture for so much longer than anyone should stare at a picture. But um, okay. Claudy Robin and um, Ariola were spotted <sighs> at Build a Bear. Uh, Ariola is already taller than Cody. I think she might be wearing a diaper. Either way, uh, you you can't see their faces, but it's another example of 100%. Yeah, that, that's them. You don't need to see their faces. You don't even see like a nose. But And when I show this picture, you can tell just from the backs of them that they both are mis Like the energy of this picture is just like, all right, just make your... Well, you said they're at a mall. That would be number one. Check that out. <sighs> There's so much to unpack here. Cody has all the jackets because <laughs> he's a little bitch boy to Robin. I can feel like this is exactly how I feel in a Builder Bear at the mall. Yeah, but you know Robin's in full beaker right here. And Cody's smiling, but the smile is not anywhere near close to his eyes. He's just like, Ugh. yeah, and Ariola just stuff that bear. Okay, I, uh, okay. pigtails. I clearly i don't like this child and i understand like that's a horrible thing to say but i just don't like her and does she have like pigtails in just the way just, she's yeah. standing and the way they're hovering over her you would think she was a three or four year old and she's what nine or ten now i mean she tall she got those robin long leg jeans that's why i have to get from victoria's secret Cody. Like, why do they both have to be there watching over her? I don't, I don't know. But then somebody made a point too in our group that, by the way, guys, uh, we have a really fun Facebook group. It's like, there's never any drama over there. I love it. Oh, you just find yeah. us on Facebook. It's we love to hate TV. Answer the questions, even if you don't know. Just so I don't know. It's just so I know you're not a bot. Sweet. But somebody said like, Saul hasn't been spotted since like the aquarium last year. So, Cause they're it's constantly weak. out with Areola. He's yeah. weak. He's tired. He needs food. I feel Going like down if the you slide like push... really, really took him out in the fall. He's been resting up. Oh, with that since. basketball, he shouldn't have took that basketball up there. Um, him, Solomon, and also Teresa from Golden Bachelor. I feel like both of them. If you just like poked them a little too hard, they would just explode into dust. Just yeah, poof. very frail. Frail. Yeah. Um, um. Okay, so Ariola turns eight in two days. Here's another picture of them spotted at the mall in Phoenix. They come to Phoenix a, a lot. My mom thinks she's on Ozempic, but I'm like, I don't, I think that oh. she just has lost all will to eat or live because she lives with Cody now and there's no one else. There's no scapegoat anymore. Yeah. Oh, she, she just is a lot. Ariel is a lot. 
And I know yeah. we're not supposed to think this about children, but we can only go on what we've she, been shown. It's not right? her fault. It's not her fault. She's a brat. Like she just has. I, you know what? I'm gonna agree with your mom. I think Robin really looks like she like lost a, a drastic amount of weight. How would she be? So she would, I don't think she'd be a prep for Ozempic though. Whatever. Oh, um. Okay, let's move on to like Debell of Debal though. Obviously um janelle's instagram right like that's really what we're all that's really what we come for right sorry i'm just deleting mm -hmm. all these things um so janelle spent a day at disney world this week georgie i don't know if you were following oh. this but um she had quite the journey well first of all today uh it's somebody's birthday birthday wishes are in order to um happy birthday wow. to caleb Bless. Yeah. Meanwhile, check out Maddie's reel. It shows what great father and husband she is. It, maybe it's just my family, but like I've never seen a family gush over someone's spouses the way that the Brown family does. Like they really go above and beyond about how great Caleb is. Even Tony, who we know is not. Mitch, just everyone well, is so amazing. And Caleb, I think. I hate to I say it, but I'd rather really like he. I, I think he needs to put the hat back on. As much as I dislike the hats all the time, invest in some hats, Caleb. It's time. It's time. Um. Okay. Okay. So let's start here. So as we know, Janelle was at Disney, and oh, Jody, it's rain season. It got, she got rained out. Monster so shoes. And check oh, out her Janelle. shoes. I mean, this is exactly how I would have pictured Janelle. Yeah. Wow. This is an exact Janelle. This is like, if I was going to make like a Janelle's Instagram like page, this would be the, the thumbnail. Can you go ahead and read that for us? Savannah and I made another January trek to Disney World. We had so much fun last year. Last year was a cold snap and we froze. Today it's pouring rain and we're drenched. I'm glad we planned ahead and brought our rain ponchos and umbrellas with us. <laughs> oh, who knew? Take a picture, Savannah. Who knew? <gasps> the sandals. And then her next post uh, is this. Oh god, it's so fucking. Oh wait, no wait. This is full the size post. umbrella, <laughs> full size poncho, black a black poncho with with big pockets to carry your things in. I don't mind the rain. Just go ahead and take a picture. It's fine. Go ahead, Savannah. Yeah, make sure you got my Burks in there. Uh, so then they went on Pirates of the Car uh, Caribbean, Caribbean, I don't know, however you choose to say it. And this is like such a Janelle post because it's mostly text. Like the text is almost covering exact everything she's trying to of course. show. But, of course. Um, but oh, it's rainy. So they, they got the whole boat themselves, Georgie. With the marathon and rain the first hour or so at Disney World today was very quiet. Savannah and I had our own boat at Pirates. That has never happened for me ever. Oh, who knew? Now Janelle's face on this boat is um it's just just like monotone, just not as if you were waiting on hold for like your insurance yeah. broker on the phone. Just <laughs> Or if like when you're driving home at night and you kind of like get that like night blindness where you just kind of end up at your house, but you don't remember yep. having driven just like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In his it's Cody on his honeymoon with Christina. Really enjoying really. it. I'm enjoying Same with Savannah. Savannah. Yeah. Savannah, and um, really take this in. We're the only one on the boat. Never. Had but now uh, her, her posts were really blowing up that day. Everyone was really following this journey. So she decided to check back in. Um, oh my God. The same. Janelle, Janelle, Janelle. Oh my God. Okay. All I'm seeing are. These. She put a little. I uh, think those are knockoff sandals. So those are a thick. That is like a, a, a very thick soled sandal. Oh, yeah. Leather sandal. She's not messing around. My mom calls them her size for those, 10s. For those commenting on my shoes, working on completing the look just for you. Because <laughs> she put socks on underneath. And why would that be? Well, because you're wearing leather, thick-soled sandals, which are just going to soak up all the rain. And that it's going to be just dank and wet and, like, yeah. just that moist. And the, and the back of the, I hope she broke those. Those look pretty new. And oh, those are like, brand you need to break new. in your shoe. So for the back of her heels probably just have, are just bloodied. You're That's right. That's probably where it's not about you're so right it wasn't about the rain it's about the blisters because she didn't break them in 
And she probably, much to what Daphne was saying, got them a little bigger so they would like, you know, she'd get more wears out of them, last longer, room, but really yeah. it's making it worse to walk in. It's making yeah, because it it's just blisters. chafing. And then and then blisters are and then the 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 rain is getting in on the blisters, so oh, it's just the extra weight. rubbing. It's like Herman Munster shoes and those things. Oh, it's not not good. It's like Natalia Grace's so, yeah. boots. God. So Oof. she's not a lot of fun away. She just, she, I she bet she, she got like socks. shin splints. She probably needs to get like compression socks. Yeah. It's gonna be a whole thing, uh, for sure. Oh my god! The All photo right, of her on the boat, <laughs> amazing. No expression. Right now, face. just I'm. Am I frozen? Because everything's frozen for me. But as long as you can still hear me, I'm good to keep. Um, going. I can still hear you, and I don't think I'm oh, frozen. Weird. But you guys can let us know uh, uh, what's going on. But yeah. We can go into, let's just, yeah. If Can you finish out Brown Town? I'm going to leave the studio and then just come back in really quick. Sure. I'll see what else you got in Brown Town right. going on over here. All I don't right. think I really have anything else, but um, just monitor the chat for a second. Here we go. All oh, right. I got it. Monitor We're back. All the chats. Oh, there you are. All right. I'm back. All right. It so are we ready well. to get into okay, let me, this episode? I'm going to, wait, we need to close out Brown Town. Just really quickly. <laughs> we get married i can't all wait. right and i do have i have my um and my tally ready wonderful so now ready this starts this. uh the intro starts at exactly like 58 minutes so everyone can just cue yourself for that and if you want to go ahead and read minutes. the script oh 50 oh like seconds okay 58 gotcha. seconds sorry sorry okay yes. So we have, gosh, I'm so excited. It's actually on Discovery Plus on time now. Christine and David Woolley, part one. After years of struggling in her plural marriage to Cody, Christine Brown has met the love of her life, David Woolley. After a year-long courtship, they are getting married. Set against a majestic Utah backdrop, Christine gets the wedding of her dreams. And away. 59 seconds and pressing play. David and we've been dating now we've been together for about 10 months and we're getting married this weekend yes I'm way excited about getting married check out this place yeah when we get in we're gonna nice this. I'm a little nervous but I'm not because I'm absolutely so excited to marry you I'm to have you be my wife oh wait a minute here there's some toys of course right there. David finds the playroom <laughs> babe of course you found the playroom I know <laughs> okay I stalked yeah. him I found him and his profile was awesome. So I found him online and it was all these great pictures. So I made up for all of that. So I messaged him. Started talking. <laughs> and texting I, back and forth. And then I'm like, we gotta meet. And it's time. Yeah, you said let's meet. I went, oh my god, she's aggressive. <laughs> See, I don't I don't love that, babe. She's aggressive. Aggressive. Why? Because she's like, yeah, oh, I don't we know should if I like meet. That word, but well, Robin yeah. thinks that Nancy's very aggressive. Oh, Nancy is very aggressive. That's why she had that upset. So, yeah. When you look at um, Nancy, that's really what you think of. Yeah. He's, he has like a um, kind of like a stoner cadence to his voice. Like, yeah. Hey, you know, like, He's a little right, slurry, right, right, but. Right. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Of I... course you'd find the playroom. Of course you'd find it. Like, okay. That's why is weird. that a thing? Yeah. 
Yeah, it sounds kind of yeah. creepy, but he sure. likes to he likes to hang out in like children's playrooms. All right, I'm at two minutes thirty two seconds. You know, I don't know what I want. I go uh, for it. You know, Christine and I didn't really talk that much about her relationship with David. The one thing I do remember is she said, "Wow, he actually helps." Like when we have a dinner party. He's actually there. Cody wasn't usually very super present or helpful during the party prep part. So Janelle and most of her kids are staying in these. And then almost all of my kids that are coming down are staying here. We just have, it's going to be so so fun. Bethany is my full sister. She's my youngest sister from. Okay. People are getting pissed in the comments here. I, I was not, I don't think David's a bad guy. I think he's like. Oh no! I think no, he's no. like fine. I'm I'm just yeah. I'm just joshing. We're just but soon. um, yeah, we're just. I I think he's like if if I thought he was like a really shitty person, I would definitely make that more known. I'm just yeah. saying like I'd be like, can you not like can you not joke like that? Also, his joke didn't come off that well because he doesn't seem to have like a jokey kind yeah, of. Well, yeah, we don't like know him he, yet. You know? Yeah, we yeah. have no context for him. I guess um, I'm. I don't like the word aggressive because it reminds me of Roman. All right. Um. We're at three minutes and three seconds. Christine's full sister is hanging out. Who we, I loved seeing. We, we get to see Christine's dad in here. Like all these people Ooh. that we've heard of but never seen. But this is her full sister. And for something, like something just really works about the fact that she's wearing a like space, like wolves in space t shirt. Very truly. Very like, truly. Like she's oh, probably truly's favorite. Truly's got you know. some looks during this. Oh, Even my mom was like, oh my God, truly, can you just not? She dressed up as Beetlejuice at one point. My biological mom. So out of all my siblings, only one of them isn't coming. So that'll be nine siblings. And then my oh. dad and my mom and my other mom will be there as well. Janelle is oh, definitely man. invited to our wedding. However, we did not invite Cody, Robin, or Mary. Of course did not. Why would you? That's awesome. That's oh, so what I haven't yeah. seen him yeah. <laughs> So on our first date, when I first saw David, I just thought he had the most, like, arresting beautiful eyes I'd ever seen. And I also was really digging the bald head a lot. I loved it. Oh. My, yeah, on the very first shade. day was when you were walking up. Yeah, was. I was like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You're hot. <laughs> oh, my Aww. God. About you was incredible. So, you know when people leave the wedding, it's going to be dark. You got a prop for people to wear. So we're gonna put them together. We're just oh, gonna put them Johnny, together at the is, table, babe. This is so crazy. Get ready. This is, this, is, this is something that Mary and Jen would pull off at the bed breakfast. But oh, no. His idea no. here. I just want to show her. Oh my really gosh, cool. dude! Look, it's got glow sticks. Look, 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 Dave. Look, look. Do you want to hey, go? Look at David. They're right here. Look, we're here. Really glasses. Do you want to go in the playroom and show him in the dark? Do you want to see him in the dark? Yeah. I, I feel like out of context, this is super creepy. You want to go in the playroom? You want to go in this little tiny you want to go in the dark? room? Yeah, I'll turn the lights right off. <laughs> Let's go, just the two of them. I mean, it's a little <laughs> cheesy, but they're older people, right? Like, to them, they're, they're fun. glow They've stick never seen sunglasses. Before. Yeah. It'd be like okay, a rave. fine. It's fun. It's fun. Sure. Hey, she's got big doors. Turn on. Her door handles are the same are the type of door handles that you'll like catch your uh, oh god yes, jeans loop I, in. Yep. <laughs> it's like I worst. know those door handles all too well. Yep. <laughs> or like your everything. sleeve gets caught and then you just and, and it's no, always it's like in the, the back worst of your, moment of your the life. The back of your jeans pocket like somehow gets it and you're like, son of a bitch. Like it just right, like, yeah. rips. You're already in a bad mood at that moment, and then that happens to really just like seal the deal. Yep. <laughs> I'm at uh, four minutes, 22 seconds. Can I have them on? You want to have them on? Absolutely. When I was dating, I would um, I would let them know that I had eight kids to get a reaction. Right. I didn't know you had eight with, kids in yeah. the first date. And with Christine, I did the same thing, and you kind of paused just for a second. Are you sure I paused? Yeah, you paused just a little. What? I was pretty excited. Eight kids. That means he can handle, like, my kids and extra kids and all of that. Pretty great. But can he handle truly, though? <laughs> can he handle McKelty and Tony? <laughs> oh, my God. And three. Oh. The oh, phone God, has arrived, baby! Just like, I mean, they got a ton of screen time, so I just needed to mentally prepare for that. Great. The phone has arrived! 
And they, of course, and nothing wrong with their babies, but I feel like her babies are always sticky and like an overly wet diaper. Like she really <laughs> waits till the last second to change them. <laughs> She's just that kind of girl. I just know it. Ugh. We're in white because it's your bridal weekend. Got, because I am not Tony's going hair. to get dirty at all. And I'm no, practicing no, no. to not get, get dirty. You're not going to get dirty. I'm not going to get dirty. You know that? No, that, means, not. that means you don't get the whole babies, right? What? Babies get you dirty. That's so, okay. Good joke, Thank you, Tony. God. Yeah, good joke. And Christine yeah, we raised got what like you were going 30 for. babies. Yeah. You need to hold the babies because you can't get the other babies. Oh, also, to Tony, feel no. free to wear swim trunks to this. Yeah, yeah. Feel Tony free to throw on your are swim in two trunks. different climates. McKelty's in jeans and a long sleeve shirt, and Tony's in swim trunks and a t shirt. And why can the they not? T-shirt has like... fitness cult. Sure, sure. I'm I'm in a fitness cult too. Mm -hmm. Jody, um, they're not on Ozempic, okay? They use Plexus. Don't you get that? They are 100% not on Ozempic. It's the Plexus that they take after they inject themselves with Ozempic. Which, right? Again, <laughs> no harm. It's like the Star Jones. Just admit thing. it, Just tell everyone you had surgery. Star right, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Just own it. All right, I'm at five minutes. Are they also seconds. the kind of people that keep their babies 24 seven in onesies like this? Like even during the daytime in the summer, they're wearing these things. I'd rather this than watching the babies it. walk around in just a diaper though. You would purposely dress yourself in white head to toe. So you didn't have to touch like, the babies. Oh, darn it. No, but I'm in white. Oh yeah. I don't have a change of clothes. Mm. Damn it. I really wanted to just hug that baby. <laughs> betting pool for how dirty mom's going to get at the wedding. I don't know. I don't figure that one yet. You know, you guys are jerks. You're all poo-poo buttons and jerks. After the wedding rehearsal, we're going to have a barbecue. I'm betting she'll get dirty and put on her white shirt that she has. Hey. Hey. So how many of these things are you guys making? We have 300 guests. Well, we thought we were uh, making these still. So. Christine should be making McKelty do whatever this project is since McKelty made yeah. them so... Seven million uh, flowers out of, of the her little flowers. Cloth. Yeah, exactly. Get to work. Put the babies down. Yeah. They're fine. They're not yeah. Solomon. Bye bye. Get to work. <laughs> They're not Solomon. Ugh. Yeah, that's the deal. That's the competition. Four hundred and fifty people showed up for our wedding. It's quality, not quantity. So he picked me up for our second date. So as soon as we get in the car, I'm like, I started to tell you, I was a third wife. I was married for 26 years. I was a third wife. I was married to him. There's 18 kids all together. And there's a fourth wife now. And then we got a little bit down further. And I'm like, I, I also have something else to tell you. I'm like, my family's been public for 13 years. And he's like, girl, I don't live under a rock. You know what I Yes, 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 yes. Go, oh go, my go, God. damn you. Yeah. Go, 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 damn you. Well, where did you think the it was going to go, all the way. dumb dumb? Which way did he think it was going to fall? Now, do you think that this was Cody's idea? Or do you think the producers were like, Cody, we want to get a shot of you cutting down a tree. Because obviously the producers know that we're all making fun of his tree obsession. Or do you think Cody yeah. was like, guys, I'm going to cut down this tree. Why don't you guys come and film? That'll be great. That'll be great yeah. content. I, I just got do some you think work to do. I, I, I just got yeah. some work. I got a knockout out there. You guys are more than welcome to, to tag along if you want. He's been waiting for this for months. <sighs> damn, just damn. go, 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 what? damn you. As if he had a plan at all beyond, I'm going to cut this with this machine. <laughs> bzz, bzz. Yes. What's he oh going to do God, with it once it's there? It. You don't have any sons that are going to come and help you. And there's like, there's like seven or eight trees here, and he's cutting down the one right in the middle of everything. Yeah. Which seems like the, like the worst Knock down other do ones, too. What is he yeah, doing? Yeah, go from out in. <laughs> I knew David and Christine were going to get married because, you know, I met David. I saw a wedding announcement at my sister's house. <laughs> it's hilarious, Cody. Oh, you're laughing. 
We are laughing. This is a laughing. crazy story. It's all, it's, he, it's all, in this talking head, he's wearing so much makeup. And he has that bruise with the two. Uh, mm. It looks like the, uh, the railway. The railway tracks from the John Bonnet Ramsey. The two, uh, the two dots. Well, I know what that's all about. Where Burke um, he them. also has his yeah. sunglass uh, headband with a visor. Visor over a lot top of things going on. Sunglasses. Yeah. yeah. Robin is out helping with the leaves uh, or with the trees, I guess. She's in work mode, Robin, because mm. she has a t shirt and a zip up hoodie. And because she's very cold and she Even has her hair back in a ponytail things. with a thin scrunchie. Not like a Ooh. thick scrunchie like this, but like one of the like halfies that are just like teensy. Mm -hmm. Like she's going, she's veering into her handsome Alice age. Mm. She's going she's like there to thin head. She's got matching gloves and uh, she's in work mode, Robin. And listen to this story. So I was kind of curious to me that some of my family had been invited to the wedding. I'm really fine. I'm resolved with it. It's... Um, I can tell. Yeah, you can tell. Our relationship yeah. ended. She made the ex accusation that I had. Aren't we just so happy for them? Well, I'm just telling my story. We're I just can't. so happy for them, right? That's what we want. Well, well I'm just we telling just... my story. Christine said, Dad, to our children, Dad has his soulmate. I'm going to go look for mine. And so I'm like, she says she's found her soulmate. And I'm happy for her Why for that, that fact. Bad? That's what I was going to say. Oh, okay, I just wasn't sure. Well, no, just because I've been angry for three years doesn't mean that I can be can't be happy for them to. Yeah, okay, cool. Can you feel what how in love these two on? soulmates are? I don't know. I hate that was just so uncomfortable to watch. Well, All Robin of that. trying to tell him what to say and what not to say. Okay, well, I, like I okay, I was worried. I would hate that. I mean, imagine if a man did that to a woman. It would be like... <laughs> well, I'm sure Cody does do that, she's too. She's controlling what she's saying. I, I just thought you were going to say... Well. And the whole time he's talking, she's just, like, staring at him like, don't say the wrong thing. And he's... <laughs> God. What is just that like? He's so upset about this. And we, she's like, aren't we happy for them? Why aren't you happy for them? Mean? Why can't you yeah. be happy for them? You got what you wanted. You wanted Christine and, to hang around? Yeah, and why would it be bad if she told her kids, your dad has his soulmate, I'm going to go find mine? Why is that a bad thing? That's nice. That's actually complimenting well, your relationship with Robin. Well, yeah, Cody. that's why Cody's repeating it, because that's one thing, that's the one thing that Cody can really grasp onto. Mm. Like, I think that that, that like was said. Talked to oh, yeah, kids no, about good. him. All right. I'm at, uh, oh, and also Robin's t-shirt says, um, life is good. Oh, well, I mean, life she's, she's cool. She's out there just chilling. Everyone's saying hi to Ace in the chat. Oh, hi, Ace. Oh, you, my Amanda. gosh. <laughs> You're like, what are you talking about? <laughs> um, also, Robin's wow. hair. Like, it looks like she's wearing, um, like, a colonial wig. Like, a colonial men's wig. <laughs> She's going to go present in like the constitutional convention or something and has it pulled back. She, what, she curled her hair to too. put it up in a ponytail. Also, um, Ace, uh, I'll just say this now. Corey and Carly messaged me this morning and they requested that during our extravaganza, we have a conversation between Ace as Cody and Corey as Robin. Oh so God! Ace, I was That's like, great. I feel like Ace will be up for that. Um, oh, so there's a little, there's a little teasy spoiler. As long as everyone's up for that. Okay. Anyway, more on that. Um, okay, we're at seven twenty one. All right. Cool. I am just. I hope Christine and David can be happy. That's that's all I'm gonna say. Fuck, that was so oh, weird. Was I the on. energy. I know we brought carne asada. Although they brought, we brought ribeye. So ours is better. Uh, McKelty brought her new I eyebrow pencil as well. <laughs> God. Honestly, and then I tease my mom a lot too. It's how you know that I like you. Because if I don't like you, no, I won't ever No, 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 pause, David's pause. So, That's not a okay. thing. That's not a thing. Oh, I make fun of people. That's how you know I like you. That's you just being an asshole all the time. That's like being that person. Yeah. that's like, I just say what I'm thinking. What? Just say what comes to my mind. Just say what's on my mind. Yeah. 
Yeah. Two I am. No, you're a dick. That's a mayor. Yeah. They and also carne asada. asada. Of course they brought carne asada. We get it. Tony is is, is Hispanic. We've talking no. tacos. Yeah. Oh, street tacos. Yeah, he loves it. Oh, I will never I would never eat a single thing coming out of McKelty and Tony's house. And I love nope. carne asada. Like I'm a chubby girl. I will eat the shit out of some carne asada and sure. onion and cilantro. Not from that house. Or Janelle's Now, what are you the most are you most concerned about Tony hair? Like Tony McKelty hair, because they both have long hair, uh, pet hair or children's hands in and oh, among. All of it. They are di like dipping their fingies in, tasting, doing their. Oh, you know, Tony is a five finger popper, like from the movie Curly Sue. Like, <laughs> oh, gross. And those babies, you probably find baby hair in it, like little baby. What are their names? Asher and what? Ashton oh, yeah. or whatever Ash these names are. No, oh. one of them is named. One of them is named Ace because Ace. Oh right, Ace right, is right. always like, oh, I. They named that. They named one of their kids. And Tony me. is absolutely um, sneezing all over those things. And the kids, like the kids, have their hand in all their Rice Krispies, and then they go up to their suede couch and just like wipe the marshmallow. Like, oh, and they and they have like that runny, that thick runny baby booger nose. No. It's just like, <sighs> no. Okay, I'm a mother, and I still can't. Ugh, wipe your kid's nose. Suck that shit I'm at 7.55 okay. and we're working on, I don't really understand what this project is. Are they just putting zip ties into plastic bags? Yeah, why can't this absolutely should be a McKelty and Tony chore right here. Do it with the kids. This is crazy. Alright, uh, here we go. I'm just going to hang it out to Doing the their version from Mexico. Oh, your Mexico family is going to be here. I have two sisters that live polygamy and they're down living down in Mexico. There's something I would never do. I did ask him. He's like, I know about polygamy. Like when we first talk about it, he's like, I know about polygamy. My sisters live polygamy. I'm like, you don't want to live polygamy, right? He's like, uh, no. And that I'm was like, one of the first questions. Are you going to live? I go, mm -mm, mm -mm, no, no, no. Don't ever speak of that word again. <laughs> he's, he's cool enough that I guess you can marry him, but it's a little soon. Like, <clears throat> What? I can see why McKelty was the outcast growing up. Like I would have bullied her too. If I was she's mad, just she's I, yeah, like uh, she's offbeat. Yeah, no, there's certain personalities. I mean, I've had to talk to my kids about this, like schoolmates, classmates that they would have had, where it's like, I get it. They are, they're just kind of annoying, but you just have to be nice. You don't yeah. have to be their best friend, but you just got to put up with them. I can't imagine if that was your sibling. And she's just, <laughs> ugh. Like, you, you can't tell her to even tone it down because she would make that, she would make your life a living hell. God. Oh, her her drawings of the dresses, that's just a, a that's princess That's exactly what I was thinking of, was her doodling. Yeah, yeah, just. It was like a, a sweetheart shoe. neck. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, stitched at the waist and then princess. Uh -huh. Maybe a fashion designer. Has feathers. Yeah. With like a V that comes down on the hand, like long sleeves to a V. Ooh, oh, edgy. And then she goes to that guy's uh, studio and he's like, so this is just a, a, picture, a book of doodles, basically. So yeah. this is not anything. And she's like, but I really want to do this. Like, it's my passion. <laughs> I want to do it. And he's like, right. Mm hmm footage not found of anything she actually uh did with this all right um 828 early. it's a little soon i should probably wait until december oh i see what you're doing shots fired tony and i met in october and then the following year in march sorry who asked who asked about that who asked how you yeah. and tony met you who exactly asked special that question? you got your two-part polygamex and mix like wedding. a season yeah we saw you get you whipped around season. violently, basically assaulted on the dance floor. Everyone step back. You might get hit by a stick. We saw him like thingy dip into all the different desserts, the flan and the tres leches cake. Enough. No one cares. You have three kids now. Your wedding doesn't matter. We're so yeah, far I, past that. I guarantee you the producer was like, all right, Tony and McKelsey, how excited are you for uh, David and Christina McKelsey? like, so me and Tony met in October. We were playing Ultimate Frisbee. And the producer's like, okay, well, 
Yes. Like, yeah, like all that we on... remember filming yeah. and Tony's yeah. discussing apartment. We remember apartment. season 10. Yeah. Oh, God, that apartment. All right. We got engaged, and then we wanted to get married in August, and they were like, no, you guys haven't known each other long enough. David and my mom, so almost parents, have only known each other for a year. They're getting... Oh, so this is just McKelty's way of doing a gotcha on Christine. She's so funny. Isn't she funny? Yeah. She's, not, she she, she's not she's not over it. She's not over and, them uh wanting her to hold on. Hey, next year Golden Globes, McKelty hosts. How about that? Um I just can't get yeah. over the fa- I just want to remind everyone just in the moment uh, that M- Tony's shirt says fitness culture on it. Fitness culture. A uh, top um swim trunks. Just just for anyone who's only listening, I just need you to put that picture in your head. I'm married in two days. I've been telling everybody we met a year ago, but it's not true. We met 11 months ago. And I told all of my kids that we met a year ago. Shh, don't tell my children. Because I told them they had to wait a year. We call them hypocrites. Me? We're supposed to say, I need more time to get to know David better. We don't know him. Not, not we don't know him. We're not there He's yet. He's not from the polygamous family. We'll get there. You are either. Right, Go them. away. Don't Shut them. up. <laughs> and also, like you're Tony. the kids. <laughs> yeah. And hate to break it to you, Tony, but you are the biggest outsider on the, of this entire family. You're more on the outside than Aurora. Yeah, no, th- this is like that thing where it's like you can joke about your family or your friends, but other people can't. Yeah. This is too much. Oh, we, I need to find more get time to, to get to know David. We need to get to know David more. Yeah, I know him better. Shut up. Gross. And you know David <laughs> hates him. <laughs> you know, you know, Christine just keeps looking back at her door, but like Aspen's supposed to be Aspen's supposed to be oh here. Oh my anytime. god, I know, right? Yeah. Gwen, Gwen, Gwen. I told her I was going to have to pack these things. I wasn't going to be taking care of the babies while she's here, but she just keeps lingering around carrying the babies. I'm at nine minutes, 20 seconds. Before this, we walked down in that dress to David. I know it's you. I know that you are. It's important to you. And you know how this is the, what it is. I'm excited <sighs> to say I do. And he's excited to say I do to anything I want. So. Get the baby off the table. Pretty much. He's, yeah, he's really willing. Much. He's just willing to give me the wedding of my dreams. So do you feel like this is going to be the wedding of your dreams? This is definitely the wedding of my dreams. There was a baby standing on the table, just right in the middle of the table, right at the end of that scene there. Most people's babies, I'd be like, okay, they're probably clean, but not Tony McKelty's. Like that thing has been walking, that thing, that kid has probably been walking around a gas station before they got there. And I was standing on the table. The the one baby is like running track on top of her kitchen table where they eat food. And then the other one, it just won't, is just like, hey, can you get the kid out? We're filming. Yeah. We're filming a Quiet. TV special right now. Yeah, go put the babies in the playroom closet and close the door. <laughs> Turn the lights off. Yeah. Just throw in a bunch of sunglasses. Something it's funny. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I'm at 946. My first wedding with Cody, it was very, very private. It was a spiritual union that we had. It was very small because in our church, when it's a plural wife, they always have a smaller wedding. But there's no dancing or cake cutting. It just wasn't a party. It was just a simple dinner. So I'm just really excited for the big wedding. Really excited. We're out. We're going to go alone and then get in our Airbnb. So have fun. And we will see you guys eventually. All right. Sounds good. Oh, my goodness sakes. We're actually going to do this. We going to keep them? I know. We're going to get loaded. Okay. That's even more better. That's even better. Oh, yeah, babies. This has gone fast. It's gone fast. Um... When I started dating, I didn't want to, I wasn't ready to settle down. I was just going to have fun. And then here's a secret. <laughs> the first date that I dated with David, I actually had another date that night with another guy. Just because I was just dating and I was just having a good time. Christine. And after I met David, I canceled the date with the other guy. And I called my matchmaker. And I just said, I'm done. I don't need your help anymore. So wow. I found him. So tomorrow the wedding party's coming over and we're going to do like little facials. And then we have a, like a wedding rehearsal at one o'clock. And then four o'clock we meet and we go to do our wedding rehearsal dinner. And then the next day, we're getting married. Yes, we are. Get, 
put another ticker down for we're getting married. We're getting married. It's a whispery one. We're getting married. Okay, Latrice, you're fine. Also, I hate how McKelty, how she got up to leave was almost like it was an event that she was there. Like, okay, guys, so we're going to get going. I'm uh, going to go get our Airbnb. Yeah, we've been making hints like, for the past 25 minutes. Like, yeah, so, we've all been waiting. Oh, look at the time. Go. Yeah. Uh, God. This is this I'm episode like, ha, 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 is called you're leaving the baby. Christine oh. and David's wedding, not McKel the McKelty and Tony visit Moab. All right, Latrice, mm -hmm. I need you to go on the side. Okay, I'll everyone just, loves Latrice. Yes. yes. <laughs> All right, I'm going ahead. I'm at 11.43. I just clicked 10 seconds ahead twice. There you go. Oh, a lot of a lot of really nice footage of Utah. My mom, oh, my really mom. is beautiful. Oh, Utah is beautiful. It, it is. I, yeah. you have to drive through it to get from like Calgary to Arizona. And it's like, it's like the one nice part of the trip. Hey everybody, if you guys are hungry, there's the kitchen. There's mimosas being made right here by... All right, so this is another day, I assume, and Christine has a themed t-shirt on. Um, Till death do us party! <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, why does this kitchen look exactly like the kitchens in Vegas? It's a little disturbing. It, no, I know, but just like a little scaled down. Yeah, it's giving me Vegas, and I don't like it. Yeah, I want her to Don't put her little sign back there that says, careful, the cook is on fire. Because she has that oh, sign. Also, is is she saying that there's mimosas being made by a bartender? No, like, no I've never... Uh, you you pour them both say, into one I've never bar, but I'm pretty sure you, you don't need a bartender it. for mimosas. The fuck? <laughs> She's so Lovely mimosas. bartenders, makeup artists, Ooh. whatever you need us to be, we're here. Today is oh, October okay, 6th. Like actual, it's the day okay. before I'm getting married. So it's the wedding rehearsal today. Go ahead and notch that one down. That's the day I'm getting married. I feel like that counts. Married. One. Okay, okay, that counts. That counts. We're at three. Morning's all about getting pampered and getting facials. Yes, we're going to get into doing a facial. Do it yourself facial. I figured, how do we do with so many women at one time? So I bought kits for everyone. Uh, we've got a face mask, moisturizer, and sunscreen. Love that. Do that. Yeah. That's Thank you so much. Thanks, yeah, I know. No, they they just put those like facial. things on their face. Yeah. That's not, don't call yeah. it a facial. Don't piss on my leg and tell me it's raining. Are you, are you not supposed to do facial. that before a big event? A state a facial. Well, this is, it's just those sheets. Thing. It's just those like sheets that you put on your face that are wet with like the two eye holes. Okay. So like a legitimate facial you're not it's, supposed to do. Right? Oh, because it like, I don't know. Yeah. Like you could like mess something up or like bring a zit out or something. Right. <sighs> oh, Today, and look at her, her shirt pampering. It's going to be my daughter's. It's a skeleton hand because till death do us part. Party. She's rock and roll. David's daughters, Party. daughters in law, too, of course. So many awesome, awesome people. If you guys, I can start handing them out. After we all get facials, I'm going to get my hair and makeup done just as a trial run for like how I want it tomorrow for the wedding day. <laughs> Here you go. So this afternoon, after like all of our hair and makeup's done, we have the wedding rehearsal itself. And then we go right to the boat to get on for the rehearsal dinner and there's not a lot of time today you have married. a glow about you today i know i'm getting married tomorrow i'm so excited i'm so excited too all the boys oh there was one i'm getting married tomorrow oh christine oh, hanging out with david for like a little bachelor party oh, i'm putting on my mask it's a mask this is, it's about to get pretty silly jody <laughs> They're not going to be able to move their face, are they? They don't know what to do. <laughs> Just look oh, at no, 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 no. If David could see me now. But he's not really like this. Oh, wow. You look oh, glamorous. Oh, I'm getting it aligned. Yeah, you're doing great. 
Oh, it's very chilly. <laughs> this oh Christine and Aspen thinking they're doing some comedy gold. Here. It's really they're chilly. Standing. It's cold. Look at that. Oh, I look so glamorous. <laughs> it's funny. You look hilarious. You look hilarious. Too. Keep the joke going, guys, for sure. We're very excited. Okay, for Annie. Wedding. I'm excited. I don't was know. just sitting there like, I don't, I don't get it. I don't. Yeah, didn't laugh once, Christine. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I feel like Annie's in on the joke that her daughter's a little bit annoying. <laughs> yeah, she's like, it's gonna be a like, was Christine the McKelty of her own family? Oh, a hundred percent. And her sister was the truly. I mean, this makes sense. <gasps> oh, I mean, you, you nailed it. All right, thirteen forty-five. Are you excited? Mm -hmm. We're yeah. excited. Are you ready? Your mom's gonna be married to David. <laughs> it's our first truly appearance here. Um, Why are you talking to Truly to like she's what? new here? Your mom's gonna be getting married to David. How do you feel? But she's not. <laughs> this isn't her first time here. Right. I gotta say like, that I gotta give Christine like, look, mad look respect for allowing all to her. Yeah. No, I know, like, truly. She's like, yeah, I'm 13, and I have a higher yeah. IQ than all three of you put together. Um, I got to hand it to Christine for allowing Truly to wear her hair like that, because I don't know if I could be a, as big of a person. to Like, I feel like I would just tell my daughter, you're going to have a normal hairstyle, not yeah, whatever this is. Day. For my wedding, the day after my wedding, I will take you and you can put rainbows on your and hair. And when you're and much your older, leg. you're going to thank me for it. Yeah. <laughs> also, I just want you to know, truly shirt says portal to the oh cat God. dimension. <laughs> and it, the picture looks like a Hardy Boys cover, maybe. Yeah. Um, or like a Nancy I mean, like Drew she cover. Really just... <laughs> I mean, it's truly it, it's classic. Truly. And I'm yeah, pretty sure Harry Isabel Potter. is like laughing at her. Like, look at Isabel's like, oh, God. Yeah, Aspen's like, sweet. Oh, she's right, like, so. she's getting married tomorrow, and McKelty's just thinking, "How do I make this about myself?" <laughs> That's exactly what's God. happening. Like tomorrow. Well, she, well, I already live with both of them. Like same they live in the same house. house. Yeah. So, yeah, I know. David and I, like, yeah. I can hear them every night. I get it. Oh God. <laughs> My wife already, and she's like, "We're not married yet," and I'm like, "You live in the same house." Do you think it'll, it'll be a adjustment for you, Chuck? Not even a little adjustment. I've already accepted him as our stepfather. I asked Truly if she was nervous about moving in with David. And she goes, a little bit. And I said, so am I. She goes, okay, then a lot. I said, okay. I told her, I said, you know, I, he's not going to replace your dad. No one's going to replace your dad ever. And that's not what David wants to do. And I said, it's super weird having a guy live with this full time, isn't it? She goes, yeah, it's never happened to me before. And that I said, it's never really happened to me before either. Boom, yeah. Get in. Everybody, look at the camera. Three, two, one, cheese. Cheese. Oh, they're so silly. They're all in their mouths. <laughs> Did you see Annie look around? Annie is like, the fuck? So do I have? I guess shit. fine. Yes, I'll do this for Christine. It's her wedding. This yeah, better be her last. Yeah, one. true. I, I didn't I mean, even yeah, like the first is... one, let alone the second. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, truly is weird, but yeah, it is a good way. It's just a very amusing way. It's so like yeah. you could tell she's super smart and well spoken, but she's just going yeah. through like her little weird phase. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. All right, and everyone then looks back on it's like, oh. yeah, she's. It's just he's obsessed with her, and so it's nice to see that. I and mean, he, he should be. She's awesome. Yeah, mom should have somebody who's that's obsessed sweet. with her. Yeah, I think that's mm -hmm. important. Yeah, and you can see that they really love each other, and he takes good care of her. So, mom, out of all of your daughters, am I the most fun? Oh my yes, God, yeah. McKelty! How did you end up at the table with her here? God, McKelty! So How did you end up invited? Like, if if one of my sisters were to say this, one of uh, like one of the others of us would go over and be like, just like be you cool her, today. Yeah. Like, yes, I don't have sisters, enough. but like, you get, I feel like you can feel comfortable saying, yeah. Like, I mean, we're definitely her, gonna yeah. like full out fight and probably not talk to each other for like six to eight months after right. that for <laughs> sure. Sure. I mean, I'm still right. not talking to one after she scooted out of the booth in July. But um. Oh my god, I forgot about. <laughs> She like walked home and you like passed her while she was walking home. 
Yeah, I offered. Uh, 15, okay, I offered. I'm not gonna go chasing. Nope. Were you like, okay, do you want to get in the car or what? Walls up, Did boundaries like up. That? No, I texted. Oh, <laughs> I texted. I was like, yep. um, yeah, no, someone's gotta like second. put McKelty in her place. Like a constant party, but you're also aware, very aware, of what needs to happen in a room. So what I say about you most mm. is you know what needs to happen in a room, and you do whatever is necessary or whatever you deem is necessary to take care of the room. Raise the exact same way. I get compared to you too, and I like it. So yeah, <laughs> it was very interesting to have my right, dad. So this is Reagan. Uh, David's daughter, and she immediately just presents as like, oh, this is a normal person. Yeah. However, she just said, I get compared to you and McKelty. That would be, imagine meeting someone's family, like, Amanda, you know who you remind me exactly of? You remind me of McKelty. What, that would be like a, a knife to the kidneys, if you will. Like, uh, like so, I'm anno so I'm annoying. I am Except I think it's I like am like thing. McKelty. No, no. It's I, th like I, I think I growing up, I, I was. Never tell someone that they look like someone you know and then show them the picture because it's never <laughs> going to work out well for you. Yeah. Never, You're, never. It's never worked out well for me where I see the photo and then I'm like, oh, thanks. Great. I guess. <laughs> oh, my with someone like Christine, they both have very strong personalities and they both are leaders. Like, very much like they take charge. Yeah, pretty bossy. <laughs> oh. Well, three o'clock in the morning is very, 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 very irrational. And I thought uh, I was solving. Did you get cold feet? No, <laughs> I'm never gonna get cold feet. I'm marrying the love of my life. <laughs> wow! Wow! All right, we're in Parawan. Just check in with Mary. What's she doing? What's oh, she up to? Uh oh, boy. we're. We're decorating for Halloween, and she's got oh, a. Oh, I know who came to visit for Halloween. Oh yeah, Bob. He goes by the name of Bob. Bob oh. is waiting inside on the couch. There, he's drunk. Resting oh. witch face. Oh, don't even start. Resting don't witch face even start. and knee-length oh. jean shorts that are two sizes too tight. Oh, she likes and them again. Tight. This is not. We're never calling Mary fat. We're just calling no, her fat. No, she just needs to size her up. jeans tight. Yes. And we're just, saying that because I we've feel all worn jeans too tight. So we know what it yeah. looks like. We know what you're trying to yeah. do. But like your seventh time wearing it, it's going to be the, the snugness you want. But not now. You got a yeah, couple not, weeks no. before you get Not there. these jean shorts, babe. Uh, okay, I'm at 1602. She's hanging some yeah, books. Christine's getting married soon. I don't know exactly when it is. I'm really happy for her. I know that she's really tell. just been wanting to find some peace and some happiness for a really long time. So I'm really glad that she's found it. You know, obviously we've had some conflict in our family for quite a few years and it's led to this. And the whole thing is really sad to me. Like the whole family situation is really sad to me. But I'm really happy for her that she has found her person and has found happiness. I mean, I believe her. I think I, I think she say, genuinely she is job. happy. Mm -hmm. Well, better than Cody job. saying, I was at my sister's house, if you can believe it. I, was, I yeah. saw, I saw, I saw in a magazine. Yeah. A little more convincing so than that. so happy for them. Yeah, no, I think she is. She's like, great. Almost like a former friend where you're like, we don't like keep in yeah, touch. I wish well. Yeah, I'm happy for him. Yeah, sounds good. I think she's she also tired regrets of people like asking her. choosing the wrong side. <laughs> yeah, definitely tired. She's oh, wait, like, you caught me in point. the middle of me hanging ghosts. That was a good point. What you just said. She probably regrets what? taking the wrong side. Yeah, mm. I would because it's like, look yeah, how much better I would have looked. I think she can get in there for like next season, hopefully, and then it can be the three amigos. I think Mary can find someone. I see her with like a guy who rides a motorcycle. He's not cool. I think she, ha but he I rides think she a has a guy. Uh, 1641. Oh, that's it for Mary, by the way. We never should have picked with her. <laughs> oh, really? That's it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's one of his. 
Yeah, I think we go back to Cody and Robin like once, and I think that's the last we see of Mary. But I just got really excited because I remember that Janelle's about to appear, and she's just I forgot she's no. Janelling okay. more than Janelle's ever Janelle. Oh, yes, okay. I love it. You love, love it? it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I guess you can get married. Oh, this is your permission. Oh wow! Just now. Just now. Just now. Just now. That's, that's when it is. This, this is it right now. Is it? Ray, you're good too. Yeah. Okay, good. Now. Just now, though. Before just, just now. With this, actually, Ray told me secretly. She was like, I don't want your mom to marry my dad. It's on her face. is a liar. <laughs> Done. She is a liar. I go through with a lot of things that she says, but that's not what I like. Because that's not funny. Yeah, didn't laugh once. She's crazy. I'm glad you know already, Ray. It didn't take her long to find out. It did. It did, it did, it did take me a while after she told me about all of your kids' names. But <laughs> Awesome. Thanks, girl. It's fine. Hey, what's going on? Baby! Oh, oh, all right that was an annoying scene um go ahead yeah i'm at 1808 we're on our way to the red Cliffs lodge because it is time for our wedding rehearsal oh Aww. my god Woo! hello yeah. nice. Hey, Peyton. Welcome to your house. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. I can't believe how beautiful this place is. Hey, people. This is insane. Hi, Gabe. Hi, baby. How are you? Oh, I, I just saw Gabe. But uh, Janelle's here. Is Aspen wearing a leather kind of like romper yeah. sort of thing? Uh, yeah, I really... Ha I really had to take it in last night that but also there's i i want to know what the dress code was for this because nobody's matching in however like fancy or unfancy they are because um yeah. aspen's wearing like a a full pantsuit leather like very dressy Cute. with mm -hmm. a belt and then isabel's wearing biker shorts and a t-shirt and then truly's wearing her um cat of the universe t-shirt <laughs> a portal to cats David Hurley has his sunglasses on upside down on the back of his neck, so not far off from Cody on that one. Oh, hey, bud. Good to see you. Hey, this is the most beautiful places I've ever seen. Um, you know, I have actually had a few opportunities to kind of hang out with David for a few days at a time. The more I hang out with him, the more I'm like, wow, he's a really great guy. It's awesome. You like this place? Okay, so here we go. We got David wearing groom. The man, the myth. I hate it. Legend. I hate it. I hate it. The and you only know he way really, that's funny is that you're wearing it ironically. Putting that on. But he's not. This was Christy going, no. you need to wear oh. this. We're going to marry today. She's never seen anything like that before. She thinks it's really unique and clever. I get that. And he yep. was like, so funny. Doing it for her. Doing it for her. Janelle in a white button up. Do you think she's channeling Robin? <laughs> Janelle was like, this is the coolest thing I've ever seen. It's the coolest place I've ever seen in my so life. Cool. I'm like, you're standing in a tent. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So cool. Um, it's hip. We're at 19. Yeah, I'm, I'm really having a problem with David with those sunglasses upside down and backwards. I know. Neck. I don't like it either, babe. Not, not loving it, babe. This is totally great. This is like totally you guys. He doesn't meet a stranger. She's like, using the word totally because like, she thinks it's cool. <laughs> Just like Christine's kind of like, have a party at my house. So they fit each other like that, you know? Babe, I think we're going to get going take charge and let's move this thing along. Okay. All right, everybody, pay attention really quick. The wedding planner is not here, so Aspen is taking point. This is how it's going to go. I'm telling Aspen what the vision is, and then she is going to tell you where you need to be. And if I make any mistakes along the way, we're just going to figure it out. And then it's going to be my mom. <laughs> Thank you all for being here so much. <laughs> and then after that, Truly's going to walk <laughs> holding our rings. <gasps> and then my son Peyton is going to walk me down the aisle to my dad. And my dad's going to be sitting down and then he'll finish walking me to you. <laughs> so that's the vision. Okay, that's cute. Yeah, no, this is, I, I like this. Responsibility. She's amazing at taking charge of things. So if you want to get everybody over there, you're all right. You know McKelty's pissed that she asked Aspen to take charge oh, of this. Oh, yeah. Yep. I, 
Because like, because you know, Christine or Aspen and Christine probably had a discussion, and they're like, if she's in charge, the whole thing's gonna be. She's gonna derail the whole thing. It's gonna it's be, gonna be drama. So this is where me and yeah. Tony actually have our like. She she adds in just her and Tony walking down the aisle by themselves. McKelty would turn into Cody at uh, his friend's wedding, where he officiated and made it all about yeah. him. Uh huh. Oh, yeah, no, I trust Let's Aspen go, with my wife. Follow yeah. me. We're, fo we're, go we're walking up a hill. All right, kids. Let's go. Ready? Do you want to come up the hill with me? Yeah! When she gets into authoritative mode, I I'm a little bit intimidated by her. Okay, so mom, you're in the very She's back. like 42 okay, younger siblings. So you go and then exactly, you count to five, that she raised by herself. Next person goes and then count to five. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Walk slower than you think you need to. Walk a little slower. Watch, watch this. That is watch so this. pretty. Watch this. Oh, oh, okay, so I didn't okay. like that, babe. I'm okay. <laughs> Uh, I don't. I don't like that band. That was really Jennifer crazy. Jennifer Lawrence, you are not. Yeah, right. <laughs> Jennifer Lawrence couldn't pull it off. You can't either, babe. People, we should for our cover for next week. We should make a um, Gene Wilder is like our uh, Gene Wilder is Willy Wonka, like doing the oh, where he falls and then does a somersault and put David's face on it. Oh, you mean the man, the myth, the legend? Yeah. Oh, the oh, groom. I, I didn't Here. know when you said yeah. groom. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. Something, somebody just tripped me. I think it was Christine. I was with oh, the God, I, so so hey, I didn't know what happened, but suddenly Dave was like, Whoa, oh, and then he starts laughing or something. Thank you for retelling us the thing that we just watched happened less than two seconds ago. Yeah, we, we know. Like, we he's saw. explaining it as, as if we didn't laugh because we didn't hear it. We're like, oh, no, no, no. We were just, it wasn't. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> Just wasn't funny. <laughs> I think it was a good tumble. Did you really tumble? I did a combat tumble. And we're going to come right well, here and then meet you here. Yes. Huh? Your dad can't bring you up. Nope. My dad so can't do I bring come you down up. here? Yep. That is gorgeous. Yep. Uh, I like oh, that amazing. I like this. It was very important for me to have my dad be part of the ceremony because he was there at my first marriage with Cody. He was one of the few people in the room. My dad's sick. He's been sick for uh, about 15 years. He has good days and bad days. And just in case he has a bad day, we're just going to keep it really simple. I have all the notes that I could just tell the wedding planner. At the end of the day, like, she's just probably going to change a couple of things. Let's be done. Um, okay. Hey, everybody. Thank you for coming. We are okay, she, done. She, she, that she is a wrap. I appreciate you being here. I feel like she's not bothering me that much just because I... I all I can just always remember Madison's wedding and how much of a bitch she was during her own wedding. Like, oh, if you yeah. are late to the ceremony, you will not be attending the wedding. <laughs> just which, like, I guess she kind of had to do that because her family is kind of a shit show, so she kind of had to be yeah. authoritative. But Maddie yeah. was such a nightmare at her wedding. Christine's at least being like kind of friendly. True, 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 true. <laughs> Go bye, love you. You know what? When Christine walked down, it's going to even be much like worse, better tomorrow. And we cry. God, she sounds like Elizabeth Holmes, eh? Yes, yeah, she really does. Single drop. Just so I can, you, you, with a single yeah. drop of blood, I could have saved my uncle's life and saved millions of others. She's in prison with Jen Shaw. Oh, that's amazing. Isn't it? That's a, that's a power team right there. Yeah. <laughs> You're crying today? Yeah. yeah, I got a little bit emotional. You did? Yeah. That's what mom wants. It worked. You saw your daughter walking down. Also, where she's the first oh. time she walked down the aisle, how was that? I wasn't even there. No? I mean, I can't even do that. Oh my God. Oh, at this point in the uh, watching of our viewing last night, my mom goes, oh, so why wasn't her mom at her wedding? And then I went into this whole, like, monologue about like everything that happened and then my mom's like, quiet, quiet 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 she's talking she's talking I'm like you just <laughs> asked me <laughs> you guys are like mckelty anyway. and uh christine over there you no, two. No, zany couple yeah all right uh 22 30. in my first marriage with cody we had a religious ceremony and the only people that can go to those are members of the church and my mom wasn't yeah 
I'm glad that she's going to be a part of this time, though. Christine is just the most amazing, courageous person I know. Oh, that's sweet. She's been so incredible in my life. I love her so much, and I'm so excited for her. Oh, God, it became so real. Ah, look at that. <laughs> God, that's sweet. This is the vision. <laughs> oh, God, Cody. I'm waiting to Christine. Cody with his freaking Whoa. heart fart of the ocean necklace. God. What is with his hair? He's doing like a <sighs> slicked back look. Like, it's as Whoa. if the sunglasses are on his head, but they're just not. Okay, highlight your Yeah, sorry about the lighting, but like, oh, God. <laughs> he looks exactly like Areola. I think that's what he's going for. He's got he's got a full outfit on here, Jody. And uh, dude, oh, like he, we he all just that need outfit to always to showcase the fart of the ocean because he's wearing it <laughs> it's blue and it's over light blue and he did a blue jacket like that was only for the necklace. Like, I feel like we'll we will all look back on um 2023 as that one year that Cody wore that heart of the ocean necklace. The uh, fart of the ocean. Yep. Every every picture, every time he was spotted out at the zoo, at the mall, he's wearing Fart of the Ocean. Yeah, uh, I just I just love that. This is like well, it's it's as iconic <sighs> as McKelvey's top hat. Oh god, the top hat, yeah. <laughs> god, he was so stupid. I had a thousand yard <laughs> stare. Oh, and god. I had two other wives who weren't really in the best of emotional condition. Oh, because you're bringing they, they another wife in, maybe? close enough to Christine <laughs> at the time. It wasn't a great day. I hope Christine gets her great day with her wedding. So if she's doing something really wonderful, spectacular, and beautiful, and David's digging on her, good for Ew. her. I, okay, I thought that was okay. I don't believe him for a second, but, like, I thought he but pulled that dickish. off. Because Robin's not there to interrupt him and try to, like, guide the conversation. But he pulled that off. If he's digging ish. her, I mean. Mm. Okay, but he, he. I mean, I'm, I'm. They must have really. They must have done some scene work for that. Gross. Okay, That's the best he could come up with. <laughs> oh, we're rolling on a river. All I see is Tony stepping over people. <laughs> we're gonna float down the Colorado River. Yeah, the Colorado River. And it's oh, just going to float no. for like 40, 45 yeah, this minutes. this seems like zero fun. We're not going to have a raft. It's a floating bar. It's a floating bar. Yes. yes I could do that if I was floating like a pond <laughs> What's she chug? Oh, a beer? Oh, she it's can't It's a Michelob chug. Ultra. We forget, oh, me and my mom figured that out last right. <laughs> Yeah. She's How do you chug a beer? You got to kind of open your throat, eh? It, like her, but her mouth was still open. I feel like he should still have like somewhat of a seal, an embouchure, if you will. Yeah, like so you're not gulping down air, right? Yeah, I would argue chugging yeah. beer from that kind of can, like the skinny, would be very difficult. Can't, yeah, cans are. I feel like you can't. You need to have it in a glass. Yeah. <sighs> Tricky. I mean, we may just have to, for research purposes, check it out. <laughs> I don't usually chug beer. My first marriage, no, 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 no drinking. So now I drink and have tattoos. I still am very sheltered. Don't get me wrong. If you guys want to do speeches, the boat is your opportunity because of the wedding and reception. Do you know I'm going to do a speech? Yes. <laughs> oh, no. Hey. Oh, hey, girl. My God. I love Look that her. everyone starts cheering and she's like, oh, Oh, I'm just going to do it. Because you know me. they all love Janelle like we do. Like, Janelle, Janelle, yeah. Janelle. Oh, my God. Oh, I'd be on top of the world. This is where and my mom up. was like, this is where me and my mom were like, we need to see if she's wearing burka sauce. Because, like, she must be, right? Like, look at her outfit. She has to be. Okay. Eyes peeled. Burked. Uh, we, Eyes we peeled. We tried to look, but if anyone gets a screenshot of her of those uh, okay. of those toesies, let us know. <laughs> This is my sister wife, Janelle. Listen to the speech. It's I'm not going to cry. Oh, her voice. Her voice. Oh, she's still got that chest cold. I'm not going to cry. 
I know. Is there a cello on board? What is that? It's like an upright bass. This reminds me of a, of classy Christmas in the office where Michael just hires the bat, the upright bass. Yeah, what is it? Okay, okay. I just was not prepared or it's for a, that to know. It's Kim Cattrall saying, I like to scat and do jazz, and my husband plays the upright bass. What is it again? Zup, 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 hooray! Zup, zup, well, zup, hooray! The she man is the she bop and the he bop. The she the dog. Hip-hop. Well, uh, she went up to the she dog and he was a he dog. All right. Um, we're at. Oh my god! I'm so excited. Twenty five oh two. This is a fairy tale, and I'm so excited to be part of this with you. <laughs> and thank you for making me part of the deal, <laughs> for loving Aww. my children and yes. letting me love yours. Yes. And I'm part of the deal, and I. You I'm are so grateful. You yeah. are. Aww. You are part of the deal. Oh my God, love you. That, that, was, that was her speech. speech by the way. Yes. Oh God. <laughs> it's just, but it's perfect. I'll, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I just want to say, um, whew, I'm not gonna cry. Just thanks for making me part of the deal, and um, I'm part of the deal. Thank you. Yeah. Bye. That's all she so says. I'm, I'm, I'm part of the deal. I'm just making sure I'm part of the deal. I'm just, we didn't have anything she didn't know and, what she yeah. was going to say when she stood up. She's like, I just need to do it now and or before I lose my nerve. And she had no plan going forward. She had a drink in her. It's been a long day. The sun was out. Mm-hmm. She's starting to feel it a little bit. She's like, okay, I'll just, I'll get it done. I'll get, I'll get it done. Okay. Oh, you. you know what? I, I'd rather do it now than at the dinner. So I'll just, uh, I'll excuse right, me. Yeah. Pardon me. Oh, that's throat. Throat. Oh. Thank you. <laughs> now they, they aren't showing it, but you know, McKelty made a speech oh. and it was empty. Like, you oh know God. it, and they just got it out. As you all know, I'm my mom's daughter. I've given her a really hard time. Sorry, Mom. Oh, God. Me and Tony her. met about eight years ago. Uh, 25, 33. The natural question everybody seems to be asking now is, well, when? Is it your turn? I have a big adventure planned with my life and it does not involve getting married again or even having a man around, really. Cody has said a lot of things in the past couple of years about the fact that he never was ever in love with me and Janelle and Christine. She deserves to be in love and she deserves to have a happy marriage and I'm really excited for her. I anticipate that in the future, the same will happen for me. You know, I don't plan on living solo the rest of my life. Is that my dad? Yes, it's my dad. There those here. Hey, Daddy. Uh, Love you so much, honey. Her dad looks like an actual character, like that would be cast on the show Big Love, like that lives in the compound. Like. He looks yep. like the big guy. Um, That's exactly how, how I pictured him. Yeah. And then my mom was like, oh, my mom asked something about him. And I said, oh, yeah, I think she's, I think his brother or his dad or something. She's closely related to Rulon Allred. Is that correct? And my mom that recognized right. that name. Because I think she probably watched like a documentary or something about the AUB. So she oh, actually like probably. recognized that name and she was like, Flabbergasted. I'm okay. I'm at 26. I think so. It's going to be way different years than those last 20 were. Yeah. He was on. No, honey. He was just balling. He was just balling. I can't believe I lost her. No, honey. There you are with a wonderful man. She's amazing. What happened? Let me see. You know, she's amazing. Why are you here so much? You're going to be treated good. Yes. Yes. So, yes. I'm going to be treated good. Time goes by so fast. I know. It's weird, right? No, I'm 51, Dad. It's weird. That can't be. My dad hugged me and he's like, he was whispering in my ear. He's like, it's really good to see you happy. Your first marriage wasn't great. I think he'd been upset for a while. He definitely was really frustrated with Cody. He's 
I mean, I her dad comes across very well just from this little yeah. bit that we get. The fact that he, he would looks, actually go against Cody. Yeah, he looks exactly like Christine's brother, and Peyton also looks like him. I think. Mm, I can see that. There's like he also something... looks like he looks. He resembles Annie as well. Oh. Damn. Like I feel like they have kind of a very similar face. That's why this is Christine's very jeans are sweet. So... Yes. Aww. Like he knew she was miserable and he wasn't a dick about it. He was like, no, yeah. I want her to actually be happy. I'm at 2713. Good to see you happy. Your first marriage wasn't great. I think he'd been upset for a while. He definitely <laughs> was really frustrated with Cody. He's thrilled to see this. He knew I had a hard, like hard time. He saw me sad for a while. Thank you for coming. I mean, I'm way excited for tomorrow, but I want to go. I just want to get going. Yeah. It's been too long. You want to get it over with. Yeah. No, you, you want to get it over with. There's times when I said, can we just elope? That's the goal, is to make sure at the end of the day that you're happy that we didn't elope. I'm just excited to marry you. It was like, <laughs> let's just get this done. Let's go ahead. So I don't know. I am at 20 <clears throat> I'm at 2824 Pretty flowers Oh wow yeah, so Trilly is in a, I don't know if this is a costume or if this is just a man's, uh, like a man's blazer from like Dick Tracy, but she's wearing a long button down striped, yeah. like kind of be reverse Beetlejuice Dick it's Tracy. A look. It's, it's, a, it's look. a look, but I kind of um, get it. Like I get what she's doing with it. Yeah, I love that they're so supportive of her and just letting her be who she wants to be, you know? Yeah, Although I'm sure 24 hours of that could be a little exhausting. Just like 24 hours picture of time, At picture time, if you could turn it off for the three seconds that it takes to do this picture. Oh, no. And I'm at 2847. I'm getting married today. Today is my wedding day. <laughs> I, I, would, I would call that two. I think that's two. Yep, that's two. Days. I would call that as two for sure. Two. I was coming. She left more. I got a hug back. Go away. I'm just excited. Go, go like away. Yes, Peyton. Go yeah. away, McKelvey. <laughs> Peyton was the one when. This is the um, one time we're like, Logan, push her harder, Peyton. Yeah, get her out of there. And when Logan receives his quilt, um, when Aurora jumps up and then starts running, Peyton's the one that pushes Aurora out of the way, too. <sighs> Clothesliner. Get her out of there. I've been building up for this and working so hard for this. I don't know. I'm just going to get hair and makeup done. And then we're going to head over to the lodge and I'm going to get married. <laughs> Where are your pajamas? I count that. Why do I have to my pajamas? Because you're supposed to be the bride getting ready for her wedding in her pajamas. You know what? what? I'm rewriting everything, baby. I don't have to. Now, let me tell you what hap what's happening right here. Christine's wearing like a Sad. white um, satin house coat type thing. But she it's clearly... Yeah, Blue Robe clearly bought this on Amazon and just took yeah. it out of the package this morning and didn't iron it because it, it still has small. all the folds. And it runs Fold. small. It doesn't look like it's closing. <laughs> Not closing, but then you all those fold lines are just there. She just she uh -huh. just took it out of the package right when the film crew got there. Yep. I mean, I've been there. I've been that girl. Oh, and there's Maddie King getting her hair done. Maddie King. Traditional. So Dave and I decided that we didn't ha want to have like any titles for maid of honor, best man, you know, anything like that. And so yeah. what Dave and I wanted was to be the only ones at the altar with the officiant. Aww. We just wanted us on the stage. Look, I shared a marriage for a lot of years, okay? I did not want to share that stage with anybody but him. I'm just saying. Huh. Hey, Chanel, how's it going? Good. This is fun. Yeah, this is really fun. fun. Yes. It just seems right that David and Christine are getting married. I know she's loved. I, love I know it. she's cherished. I know she's wanted. I know all of these things now. And it feels like something that was kind of wrong has now been fixed. And I appreciate the government. 
Is David seeing you for the first time down the aisle? Oh, yeah. I kissed him goodbye this morning as a single woman, and uh, the next time he sees me, we'll be on the aisle. It's so Aww. weird because I'm very sad that that the other family's not here and that there is animosity and that there is problems. But I'm also like, I love David and David's family. It's complex because it's like, yeah, I like him, but I also am really- There's Caleb Brush going full, uh, full mm -hmm. ball, finally. He's, fine. He's embraced yeah. it. Yeah. yeah. Sad that this marriage has ended. Do you think he's going to cry? Yes, he was, all, he was almost crying yesterday. He was all choking up yesterday, so yeah. Hey, 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 come on in. Oh, come on in, Corbin. Oh, these are like oh, actual yeah. friends. The but actual man and friends, Tony. too. Actual man friends and then Tony with a Red Bull. He's got to get that energy. Keep that energy up. Yeah, I was going to say. He probably, yeah, he probably just worked out. <laughs> He's a little caffeine. Probably, most likely, yeah. Because he, he lost culture. weight by working out. Not from Ozempic. He's what not on Ozempic. Fitness culture does. Okay. Fitness culture. <laughs> fitness culture. Yeah. They said, hang out in the room, wait for everybody to show up, and then we all start getting dressed, and they're going to give me crap, you know, like they all do. And that's all right. I, I can handle it. You guys doing good? You guys yeah. ready? Sure. Come no. You. No, you're not. You want to give me some lectures? You <laughs> lectured? What? Are... Yeah. Who is his hair's in a ponytail? I wish I was 50. Yeah. I know 100% that, that is the right thing to get married. I feel like I found my unicorn where it's something I didn't think I could touch. But in reality, I can, and it's awesome. Okay, so tell me who everyone is because I don't know them all. I don't know. This is Dave. You're Tony. You're Tony. I'm Dave. I'm Tony. Dave. I'm brother-in-law. This is Chris from California. California. Ah. Then Corbin, you're gonna marry us, right? He doesn't know what he's gonna do. So why 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 did you pick him? Because he um he married my son Dallas and Morgan. Chris and I thought it was a good fit for him to do it. Who'd you get your license with? So yeah, it was like one of those ones where I paid fifty bucks. I had to make a test. So as long as you guys aren't cousins, you just get married. So the yeah, super cool, because Tony wants to do it. Those Tony wants to look into the officiating weddings. I'd rather I'd rather Cody officiate my wedding than Tony. <laughs> I'd rather Christine mm. sing my wedding to me. Oh, yes, I like that. Serenade you. All glory and honor is yours, almighty eyes. father, forever and ever. Oh. Um, I was referencing that SNL skit. Um, I do know that yeah, SNL, the Christmas spectacular. Yeah, we send it. We send it to each other every year. It's about that time. So yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, he says, uh, "As long as you guys aren't cousins, I can marry." And I'm like, kind of a weird joke to make when you know that like everyone here is like involved in pulling a good chance. Something. They actually are. Yeah. 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 And David comes from like a lineage of polygamists, by the way. He's not like that's he's not what like I heard. Yeah. Yes. God, Tony McKelton. I made a joke at the very beginning of their relationship, like the first time we met. Christine. David's daughter talking. He's like, "Hey, I could marry you guys today if you wanted us to." Yeah. Like, if you wanted me to. Yeah, because Christine was joking. I was like, well, "If you guys want to look tonight," I was like, "We have the witnesses, and I'm a I'm a licensed officiant." I was like, "So let's just get married tonight." Just joking. And she's like, "Oh, be quiet." And then I get a phone call a few months later. They're like, "Hey, do you?" Do you want to officiate the wedding? And I was told I can't make any inappropriate jokes, which I originally asked if I could. <laughs> so I got told what I was off limits. But Christine had three things that she wanted. She wanted it short. She wanted me to talk about my love for them. And she wanted me to talk about finding the love later in life. Aww. Christine and Dave are that story. They're the story that needs to be told. They're the testimony to find love later in life. They're the testimony of second chances. Okay, here's the way I have a problem. Yeah. Christine's not here, and I forgot what shirt she wanted me to wear. Is it that one <laughs> or is it that one? I got a 50 50 chance to mess up. Wait, let's see. <laughs> yeah, said, what about oh, someone text her and find out? I don't know, bro. This doesn't look plumb. I don't know either. And this doesn't look like rust. Okay, just what? FYI, Tony, the first shirt you held up was exactly the color plum. plum. And the one you're holding That's right now is exactly the color rust. I was just going to say, like, am I colorblind or something? No. He held up a plum shirt and a rust shirt and then said neither of them were those colors. Oh, God. Because I wanted to depend on right the Tony for my fashion advice. Okay, and he's about to say, hey, to the hey, dude, 
your wedding colors are so hard to find. Um, weren't their wedding colors yellow, <sighs> silver, yeah, aubergine, I colored, I colored and a, turquoise or I something? I colored the page with their, with, their picture, with their colors on it. It's this, with this collector's cake. These were their wedding colors. <laughs> Yeah. Yellow, burgundy, uh, silver, and blue. And there had been some brown <laughs> in there, too. Oh, God. Tony, go Sorry. away. You know, he was the oh, one guy that are like, oh, God, do we have to, like, let, I guess we have to invite him to hang out with us before, I, I guess. My God, is he ever Sam Paku eyes? He's just like, so how did you get, how did you get your license for officiating? <laughs> Where'd you get license from? Where? <laughs> like, what kind of a weird question Just is that? Just my Red Bull. Yeah. Where are you licensed? <laughs> 3308. Hey, your wedding colors are so hard to find. <laughs> I didn't pick them. Christine did. Wait, what, what is she wearing? She's wearing a white dress. I don't know. What, don't what do you think she's wearing, wearing you dumbass? Here's Tony trying to bring it back around to himself. Right here. You don't know what she's wearing yet? We remember, Tony, you went and picked out McKelsey's dress. We know. We get... It's not about you. For him just being annoying, he thinks is funny, and it's not funny. Oh no! It's him just and the Celtic crack each other. The, they, God, they are so alike. It's crazy. I know they kind of are perfect for each other. Um, Thirty-three nineteen. Mom, you look absolutely amazing. I was gonna keep it like this. You should. Well, this sure. is a. This is perfect. Actually, you don't need to do anything else. You're done. Well, Eliza's heart, I feel her heart actually palpitating right now. Yeah. Eliza's like, no, 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 no. There is a, there's a tradition. Who asked something blue, something old, something new. McKelty, Isabel, and I all wanted to give mom stuff, and we decided to base it around that tradition. We got you some stuff. Wait, Isabel, yours is best. So, I wanted to give you something that would send you into this marriage on like a good set or good foot. And so I put in the German tradition, it's tradition to put pennies on the bottom of your shoes. So there are pennies, it's a German tradition where you put pennies at the bottom of the bride's shoe and it's for prosperity and marriage. Okay, I have something that is a little gifty. <laughs> Nifty gifty. Um, I thought you could wear mm -hmm. it. So it says- Look at the Kelty here just edging. She's like not even paying attention. Yeah. She's like, I'm how do I get in next. here? My turn. Next. My, turn. Next. My, 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 my turn. My, 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 my turn. It's the and it's the date of your wedding. Oh my gosh. Yes, 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 yes. That's sweet. It's like yeah. tree writing. Yeah. Good it. enough. Like when you were little kids and you wrote your names together. Thank you. Thank you. Like all of the sisters want mom to have like the biggest, most special wedding. So we wanted to make sure that mom got everything. I didn't know for sure what you wanted to do for earrings, but I have these. These oh are my, my gosh. wedding. Oh, if you want to wear those. Yes, that would be my greatest I feel like they'd look really good with your necklace. And if you want to do something different and it comes down to it, you can. No, 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 no. Okay. Thank you. They're the ones you wore. Aww. Yes, thank you. I love it. Yes, Sweet. thank you. This is the color I used to cut my, my wedding knife. Yes. My wedding. She was waiting for that moment. This is the cutlery I used to cut my wedding cake. Yeah, who cares? Nice. I should joke not one. It's probably better, you know. But she doesn't let her stuff from her wedding. I don't know. I don't know. Because I feel like because he's, I'm older, he's, his, he's our mom's husband. Yeah. Do you want him to be your stepdad? Is that like something you want to refer to? Like, no, I don't call Ron my stepdad. And he's been married to my yeah. mom. I don't think you have to. Especially if you're adults at this point. Yeah, if you're adults. Like, you know. Truly, I think that could maybe call him. Would maybe want. I can see why she'd want him to be dad. Since she yeah. didn't have one her entire life. True. Because I don't know what to do with it. Just because that's like foreign to me. I know. I don't know what if I'm like talking about him to other people. Do I am I like I'm his stepdaughter? That's like because like other than that, I have to say I'm his wife's daughter. Like that's such a mouthful. I'm just family, so okay, I'll just say family. Oh just my gosh, family. This is just me. Let's just, just, just say family. Let's, we can ask David what he thinks no, later. I don't want to hear it. <laughs> I don't David's want to know. like he'll be like you can call me what you want. You can call me David. You can call me David. Call me David. Let call me, me tell you, sweetheart. To be honest with you. I mean, Truly's the youngest of all of that group. 
Eh. Well, she's not the total youngest, though, because in six and a half months, truly, it doesn't matter anymore. That's right. That's right. This is the first time Truly's ever had a dad, period. Yes. Sad. I don't think she'll ever call him dad or stepdad or refer to him as stepdad. Maybe. She will. But it doesn't matter. I mean, this is all their choice. Oh, like how Robin had all of her kids mouth kissing you and calling you yeah. dad after uh, six weeks of dating? Getting corrected. Yes, they said, corrected. Cody, no. Who? Yeah. Who? No one wants your opinion on this, babe. It's whatever they choose to do. Here. Oh no, look oh, who showed up. What up, guys? Hey, Garrison. Oh. Hey, Caleb. Oh. Just Caleb Bryce. Caleb Bryce. Yes, just started. Absolutely. The party is starting now. The party out. I think the reason <laughs> David and her work out so much is because David feels the exact same way. Everybody's having a good time, is everybody being around having a good time? He lets her have fun. Yeah. And he enjoys it too. And he's just sitting in the back, like, yeah. are you having fun? Everyone, she's well. ready. <laughs> Caleb's like, I really relate to David because we were born in like the same age bracket <laughs> of each other. <laughs> yeah. Hey, brother. No, like literally brother because we could be brothers. Yeah. We Definitely graduated in the same dad. decade. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 3753. I think we're going to get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's my daughter. I hope so. I mean, it's not for nothing. <laughs> Are you going to be nervous? No, no, I don't, I don't get nervous. Either. Like, Tony, uh, no, time to hit the old dusty trail, Tony. God, leave. It's just um, I focus <laughs> on something else and I'm good. I'll get a moment. It's 11 o'clock. It says 1056 on the on the uh, clock there. Do you think it says AM or PM? Do you think Tony, like they got there at seven and Tony just won't fucking leave? And yeah. David's like, oh, no, he's not getting a hint. Like, Tony. why don't you go grab something <laughs> to eat? Are you hungry? No, 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 you're not. Oh, you're not hungry. Okay. No, I'm good. Uh, I'm good. I take plexus. Stretch your legs. I have go check out the grounds. Really pretty out there. No, okay. It's too hot. Okay. okay. Just like, that's pretty close to nervous. <laughs> now, nervous <laughs> is when you're freaking out. Emotional is all the, being out there on the deck yesterday, looking over the whole deal and realizing, I'm uh, Mary and Christine, the, the love of my life, and it's just, it's awesome. It's just so cool to be here. I remember the first time that I, I kind of like settled in that you guys were getting married and then that you were going to be with each other forever. And I was like, finally like, okay, this is happening and it's a beautiful thing. We, uh, we were out of town and he looked at you and he was like, oh, I love you so much. <laughs> like, just like honest and pure. And it was, oh. I've never heard somebody say I love you that much to you. He wanted to be with you forever. Sad. Like forever. Oh, and it was that. like, oh, okay, I guess you can have my mommy. <laughs> I guess. Aww. Thank you. Thank no, you. No, thank, thank him. I love David. Um, okay, so like when I met David, I'm going to cry. And I don't want to do this because I'm going to cry. I know. Um, this made me like Maddie too. a little bit. Yeah, I'm not going to do it because I'm going to cry. Please do it. No. Let's I go. just love him so much. I know. So Isn't that nice? I'm so happy for you. And Madison really does clean up well. I mean, she just, yeah. since she's had all these kids, it's really taken kind of its toll on her. And she just doesn't seem to care about like yeah. doing hair and makeup whenever she's on the show, but she looks very, very pretty here. I mean, she looks yeah, just she like and Janelle. Janelle. Like they're gorgeous. Yeah. And Savannah. I think Savannah is the most beautiful. Oh. Yep. Through oh, the freckles. She's so cute. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> What's up? <laughs> she's amazing. You get your fairy tale. Oh. I'm happy for you. Aww. I remember Maddie's wedding. Yeah, we all remember Maddie's wedding. And the first time I really, really was sad about not having a big wedding, she just glowed like a bride. And I realized I didn't glow on my wedding day with Cody. Mm. And it was a hard day. All right, let's go. Ready, Molly? Yes, I'm ready. Right, so here, Truly has gotten some kind of hair treatment. Um, because she had wet hair and now it, now her hair is like relaxed down a little bit. The purple is yeah. still really uneven, but the hair looks nice and healthy at least. So yeah, I think they, they kind of straightened it out. Really 
Yeah. Yeah. It's nice and shiny. It. So, you know, that's, that's as good as you're stunning getting. in her dress. Yeah. Ugh. I actually really like Christine's wedding colors too. Like the I'll just see like them all autumn together. colors. I don't remember. I'll tell them all. Well, if you look at all of like all the kids, like all the kids came wearing, it was, it was like rust plum it, as Tony said. And then like this kind of rosy, like dusty rose kind of color. Aww, I don't know. It's just kind of sunset. fall. Yeah, I'm ready to get married. There's oh, one. There Getting ready to get married. God, Isabel is stunning. Yeah. Today's already different. I already feel like I'm glowing. I'm like, I'm cool. Tr Truly's walking out with a fucking Costco sized thing of Sour Patch Kids. Yep. She's like, let's go. Let's roll. <laughs> yeah, load up. Load let's up do up this thing. <laughs> Days. And David loves me. He loves me. It's so sad to see such bare minimum here. That, like, oh, he loves me. He, yeah. He's nice to me. He loves me. He tells me that he loves me, in fact. And I've never been loved like this before. I don't like the guys wearing darker shirts, but that's just a preference thing. Oh, hey, God, Tony, Tony, feel free to not tuck your shirt in. Yeah, Tony, feel free to look like a fucking slob and mess everything up. Tuck your shirt in, yeah. you disgusting piece of shit. I'm sorry, that yeah, is so the rude. The shirt... The shirt Tony's wearing what is is the definition of not plum. It's in fact lavender. So Tony yeah. giving all the color advice wore the wrong color shirt. Does Probably he tuck it the in? Photos. Tell me he tucks it in. I don't. Re I don't remember. Well, we're about to end this episode here, so we'll see next next week. Okay. So someone says uh, Tony looks like he's wearing athletic. Pants. Yeah, I feel like these are an elastic waistband. This is a small, oh. medium, large type situation rather than actual size. <laughs> Just a comfy jaw. Oh, perfect. John Wayne room. Yes! Yes! Hi! <laughs> See you in 20 minutes. Oh my God. What time is it? That's my favorite time. And then we're totally good. All right. The, the wedding. One, two, seven. And let's get ready. This is crazy. It's crazy. He's my soulmate. Nope, Tony's so schlubby. Is you okay? Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. Just take a moment. It's the best feeling in the world. And I hope every bride feels like this. Next time on Sister Wives. All right. Uh, to... Do you want to you want to get right into this? Any final thoughts before we see what's next time? I I, I gotta see it. No, I play it because I'm right. I'm like. All ready? Ready? Today is my wedding day. <laughs> I want them to be happy. We had 25 years together. Take any guess. Mm. Christine, Ooh, Robin. Yeah. 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 But by the way, during the grinding, you see Tony in the background, and he's now he's changed uh, for from the ceremony. Uh, he's now just wearing a black T-shirt, and no, his hair never went up; it was down the whole time. Hey, you're ruining the photos. Yeah, <laughs> you're ruining everything, Tony. Yeah. All right, I'm at uh, forty-two twenty-six. I felt like I've known you my whole life. All right, that's it. Well, okay. Christine I mean, I don't. I, I don't like the the like and the yeah. like grindy thing but i mean i get it it's your what do whatever you want right yeah it's and you never wedding. got to have that the first time you were again the first time was too cody and you yeah. wore that that dress um yeah but i mean that's 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 it i'm fucking starving so i'm, I'm getting married count is at count. nine i think we'll okay i feel like we must have missed a couple for, for okay. next week <laughs> nine oh. times because then it'll translate next week into we're married 
That's true. I'm a wife. That's true. You're a husband. Aww. But uh, and then we get then we get to see Robin and Cody uh, try to uh, kiss each other and it, yeah, oh, get out of here. Like, we yeah. need to get a room. <laughs> Stop watching us. Yeah. We're oh, so in love. The sexual tension. I'm just small soulmates. Fully flooded over here watching it. Oh, All right, dude, um, you want to wrap I, us up, Jude? Yeah, make sure you check out um Pod in the City. I'm looking for your oh. uh, little nifty gifty over here. Oh, I just it. Click it. Uh subscribe, <laughs> check it out, check out the Patreon. Oh, there you go. And check out TRP and I was going to say Total Request Podcast, and we love to hate TV. All the links are there. Check everything out. Next week, we'll be doing part two of um, Christine's wedding. And the week after that is going to be our Guestapalooza extravaganza with all our friends of the pod. So get ready for that. Yep. Anything else, Amanda? I'm I think gonna... that's everything. Walter, are you ready? You're all adults. Oh. A uh, bye bye. Bye bye. Well, guys, it's been a blast. Thank you so much for joining us today on our We Love to Hate Everything channel. Please do not forget to hit that subscribe button. Give us a like or even a comment and click on that bell if you want notifications because you never know when we might pop up and go live. Please check out our other two podcasts on Patreon, where we snark on even more TV, movies, and pop culture. We got Total Request Podcast, that's patreon.com slash trpod, and we love to hate TV, patreon.com slash love to hate TV. Thanks again, and we will see you next time. <laughs> <laughs>